That's that's correct. Um, I, I would like to ask a Muslim a question. Is there any Muslim in here? I don't know. Yes, I am. Is Abbas Muslim. a Muslim? Abbas, yeah, you're a Muslim, uh, brother. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, let's give him let's, let's give him the greeting. Salam am Abbas. Salam am Abbas. Wa alaikum. Awesome. He said wa alaikum too. All right, go ahead, Christian Malik. Um, yes, brother. Um, uh, Abbas, um, I would like to ask you, where is the location of Allah? Where is Allah right now? Is Allah within his creation or is Allah above his creation? Is he in the highest heaven of them all or is he in heaven with all the other Muslim believers, with Muhammad? Where is Allah according to, yes, to Islam? Um, wow. Physically, if we say physically, according to Quran, is above the throne. But otherwise, he is above Allah, the he throne. Is closer, above the throne, but otherwise, Allah is also closer to closer than our jugular vein. So we believe that he's through his knowledge and power, he is closer to than our jugular vein. But physically, okay, he's above. above the throne. Oh, okay. Uh, and and exactly. where is Jesus? And where is Jesus according to Islam? Pause really quick. Sorry. Pause really quick. Um, for the people who are in the backstage. For me to let you up, I need you to show your faces on the screen so that I know that you're a real person and not a troll so that I can bring you up. Um, so I see somebody looks like his name is Scarface and then somebody named Kuro Edits. So I need you guys to show, flash your face on the screen. I only, only I can see you right now. So just flash your faces. And uh, most of all, you're already here. I can't see you, Scarface. I can't see something. I need to see a human being. All right, Kuro. Nice to see you. Come on up. Scarface, I need to see a face. For, but go ahead, guys. <laughs> oh, and thank you for the super chats and the super stickers, guys. I really appreciate you guys, man. You guys are really blessing me today. Truly blessing me today. What's up, Shimonian? Go ahead, Christian Malik. You asked, where is Jesus, right? There's people trying to join. Who's trying to yeah, join yeah. the... Uh... Yeah. Yes, Abbas. Where is Jesus? Well, you say according to Islam. Aye, aye. According to Islam, you say where is Jesus? Okay. According to Quran, uh, it doesn't say that Jesus is coming back or Jesus is alive. Quran didn't say that. Hadith did say that there are hadiths that Jesus is going to come back. Okay. But uh, I am of those uh, um, people, Muslims. I do not believe Jesus is coming back. And what? Jesus is no, 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 Jesus is uh, brother, brother. Yeah, I'm, no, I'm not saying. I'm not saying if Jesus is coming back or. I'm saying, where is the location of Jesus right now, according to Islam? Like every other river prophets, wherever they are, they are in in in, in the waiting. Are. We call okay. Oh, I'm Barsha. only saying Barsha that because. Right, right. I'm only saying that Abbas, yeah, because when I read Quran, I think chapter four, verse one fifty-seven, where it says yeah. that um, Allah took Jesus onto Himself, Father, talk one and, and to one. me it shows. To me, it shows that that. That it doesn't show Allah took anyone else, anyone else unto Himself. Jesus is the only one that Allah took unto Himself. So wherever the location of Allah is, Jesus has no. to be there. So Jesus is where Allah is, and it's the only one. No. If you yeah. read the verse, we can see that. No, no. Um, okay. Um, there are other verses, and there are these as well. When people die, the souls goes towards Allah. Allah subhanahu wa taala. All the souls. Can you show me? Can you show me a Quran verse that says that Allah took this person onto Himself? Um, I have to look for that, but I can assure you, there's a verse there. If I no, can't you, can't, you, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't. I have read it you myself. Can't. I have when, when the when the so bring died, bring the verse right now. Go, bring the verse right go now. To, we go up unto Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. So unto doesn't yes, mean yes. To, right next to Him, meaning towards Him. Towards him, away from this world, towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That doesn't mean exactly where Allah is. That that was is not saying that uh, Jesus is exactly going with Allah unto Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, like towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And when we die from no, it, life, it says it says it says he took him unto himself. It never says he took him to heaven, took him unto himself. And, and fair enough, yeah. fair enough, you can try and twist the verse. And what I'm saying for you to win uh, against my point, show me where Allah in the Quran takes someone else onto himself and then my point is destroyed then you win just drop the verse now fair, fair, fair enough so what you do you can put me on the backstage give me two three minutes and i'll come back with the proof inshallah is that okay with you? 
Yeah, well, stay, stay, stay here, uh, cause um, there's like people okay. joining. So if you try, if you leave, you might not be able to get back up here. So no, it's okay, bro. I'm going speakers call. I'm going speakers corner soon, Abbas, and you can give me diverse lives. Oh, I don't that's mind. fine. That's fine. That's fine. Come there this Sunday, and uh, I'll bring that proof for you. Is it alright with you? Because I have to look for it. I'll give you ten thousand years to look for that verse. Um, I can I can assure you on Sunday I'll give you the answer that the, the other souls also go unto unto Allah Subhanahu wa Taala exact exact same words the unto the exact same words used for other souls as well I can assure you in, Sunday, inshallah will, brother inshallah I will, I will inshallah. Inshallah, inshallah no problem okay settled settled no problem so uh, how are you guys you right I was just listening earlier you guys talking to my brother ultimate truth so um, first time I joined your show so. Um, I have a question for, for you as well, but if you have any other question, I mean, I'm a Muslim, I'm, I'm open to answer any question if I know anything. If I don't know, I will tell you I don't know. Well, so, yeah, you're, 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 most, you're most welcome. It's nice to meet you. My name's Avery, by the way. So nice yeah, to meet yeah, you. Yeah. Um, I saw you before. I saw you, General, and, and Daddy. Yeah, I, I, I think I like the way you conduct everything. So, oh, thank you. Baby, you know, yeah, but, but I like it. So, you. You are a man with knowledge, so which, which is good. Which is good. Yeah, I try. I'm still learning myself too. So wherever I can Definitely. grow in my knowledge, I'm open to that as well. Hey, you, boss, you... Am I a nice guy too? <laughs> uh, no, Chris, you are rude. I must say that. <laughs> okay, and let's keep going. You are rude. Okay, so so uh, you did mention really quick that you uh, that you don't you're not of the Muslims that believe that Jesus is coming back. Yeah, yeah, I don't think Jesus is coming back. Uh, I don't see any point in coming back. Okay, so, so like, um, I I'm confused of of your position. Are you Sunni Muslim or or what? I, I I'm Muslim. I'm Muslim. I, I don't I don't believe in sects. I think uh, sects are. Uh, Abbas, you used to be a Sunni though. You used to be a Sunni. No, I no, I never was a Sunni. Actually, my father was a. I Sunni. remember. I remember you saying you was a Sunni. That's so why, that's why we're debating hadiths. Yeah, we're de and then you said, and then you said some hadiths you accept, some you don't, some you throw against the wall if it don't coincide yeah, with the yeah. Quran. So that means yeah, you do. do. Yeah, and those hadiths that you and those hadiths that you accept, they're Sunni hadiths. None of them were Shia. Oh Allah Akbar! No, 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 no. So hadith are hadith. That's a hadith of Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. If you find it from Shia books, something which goes correlate with the Quran, I'll take it. I, had, I don't count hadiths from Sunni or Shia. Hadith are hadith. Mm -hmm. So that's why what I accept some hadith and I do reject some hadith as well. But there's that's a, it's, it's a big argument, a big big topic about that. I can explain why I reject and accept. But but uh, I don't believe Bukhari as as a as a um, word of God or infallible. Is that is that what you, uh, you want to and, know? So and, I, and brother, you know that verse. You know that verse where it says. You know that verse where it says, and 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 they take their monks and rabbis as their lord instead of the messiah and allah yes. what's that yes. verse saying what verse is that explain can you read that verse out to us like what's that verse yes. saying? if you put on the screen because um, me when i read that verse i was like oh my days they're telling me to worship jesus christ like that's what i see when i read that verse yeah, i'm yeah, being honest you with you i'm not trying to twist anything no 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 i know 931 isn't it yeah, maybe the screen and I can ask you that. Uh, I'll, I'll love to spend what definitely not look at my reference to tell you. Just yeah, if, if you need several things, you're, break, you're breaking up pretty bad about 285. Then we'll Abbas, are you receiving yeah. Wahi in the cave? Can, can you, you can, it, no, no, Chris, let me answer this question. He says, can you hear me now? I, th I think it's better, yeah. Hello? Yeah, yeah. can you hear uh, us? He asked the question about chapter 9, verse 31. I can hear you very well. Uh, maybe okay. you, Can you put the chapter 9, verse 31 on the screen? Yeah. Is it possible? Yeah, give me a, give me a we second. We read that verse, and then we read another verse to understand what exactly it means. So nine thirty one. 
Yeah, that's what the brother is uh, just quoting. Okay. Sorry, I can't read. It's too small. Uh, maybe you can read small. it. Maybe. It says, they took their rabbis and their monks to be their lords besides Allah and the Messiah. Where Two powers in heaven. <laughs> Some uh, son of Miriam. Uh, while they were commanded to worship none but one, Allah. Uh, and you see, and you see how they try to twist the verse by saving it by the with the brackets. Yes, man, that's why I just skip all but of that. But the Arabic says what you just basically read. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. I have it in Arabic. If you want, I can read it for you. And I have, if you give me two minutes, I talk would be great. Yeah, go ahead, brother. Read it in, go ahead and read it in Arabic. Okay, just give me a second. It says, اتغزوا أحبارهم ورهبانهم أربابا من دون الله والمسيح ابن مريم وما عمروا لا إله يعبدوا الله وادل الله هو السبحان Exactly says whatever every said. They taking uh, those monks and everything. They taking gods. They taking them as a gods instead of Allah and Masih ibn Maryam. And every, if you give me two seconds, two minutes, sorry. I tell you something about those small ayahs like Aleph, La, Mim, and Kehiyas and Yasin. You guys all familiar with Barak Abdu Nufal. He was Khadija's uncle and he was Bishop of Mecca. Him yeah, and... Muhammad's father, yes. Yeah, yeah. No, no, Sayyid Buhira was Muhammad's father, not him. Sayyid Buhira was one uh, uh, monk in, in Syria. No, that was, that was a joke. That was a joke, brother. No, 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 no. Okay. Yeah. Varak ibn Nufal was helping him with all the revelation, Quran, and this and that. After Muhammad got more power, he decided to kill him. And he knew about that. And he started putting those words that they said only Allah knows the meaning inside the Quran. If you're familiar with Aramaic alphabet, they are not only alphabet, they are numbers. And if you change with simple calculation, those numbers, <laughs> those letters to the numbers, you will see Christianity's foundation in the Quran. I'll give you one uh, sample, and if you want, I can I can write it on paper and email it to you. You can have all of them. One of them is Kahiyas. Kahiyas, if you change it to numbers, will give you exactly another word, Al-Masih, Al-Rabbi, which is Jesus is my God. So they just trying to twist it. But after Barak Ibn Nufal died, Muhammad stopped getting revelation for like two, three months. That's why he decided to kill himself. So whatever you see, Aleph Lam Mim, that Aleph Lam Mim came to the Quran in seven ayahs. If you calculate that one, it's going to be Aleph Lam Mim is 71. Times seven is 154. If you turn this 154 in Aramic language, it will say that Masih died and rose again. This is all foundation of Christianity. Barak Abdel Nofal placed them in the Quran. Thank God that even Muslim that uh, convert to Christianity, he find this formula. He, he, he found them. Even uh, CP knows about that. CP has them in his book. If you talk to him, my English is not that good. My English is uh, my sixth language, so... But if you talk to CP, he will explain it to you. It's very good material to bring down like ultimate, uh, what's the ultimate truth? This kind of mm. guy that's making yeah. you, yeah, making you nervous with that satanic laughing really makes me nervous. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, honestly. And I have another question if there is any Muslim here. Did Muhammad have a circumcision? Wait, wait, just, just, just one second. Just one second. Sorry, brother. Uh, yeah. just, just for Abbas not to forget. Because I checkmated Abbas with, 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 with my first point, and he goes, he needs to come back on that one. And the second point was taking the monks and rabbis as, as gods instead of Allah and the Messiah. And then the brother came in and you got saved. So Abbas thought, you know what? I escaped this one. But, but you cannot escape this one, Abbas. You have to answer this. No, they just put them in the bracket to change everything. No, my question, just one question. 
When Muhammad did circumcision, they did it with sword or guillotine or who did his circumcision? Because he so, must, must have done it after four years old. Because before four years, he was mushrik. Even his father names is Abdullah. So if they they find Islam and when Muhammad was four years old, so how his father's name is Abdullah? Where where did uh, this Allah came for his da father's name? So did Allah existed before Islam? Uh, how how is that possible? That's an easy question, isn't it, Abbas? You want to take that and avoid my one? Go ahead. Thank you so much, Amr. But, uh, this is such a loaded question, and the answer of the first question is, I don't know if he was circumcised before or after, I don't know. We don't have any details in the Quran or Sahih Hadith, so that's the answer. The other, other question is a very loaded question about his name, father's name, so I will, I will pass it, and I will try to answer the brother Christian Malik's question, and I'm not hiding from it, brother. I'm, I'm so eagerly waiting to answer your question. And when you say you checkmated me, remember I told you I will answer you on, on Sunday. So the game is on. It's not over. So yeah, and I said 10,000 years. And I said 10,000 yeah, years. And I, and I said to you Sunday. So we'll see you on Sunday. Don't we? So so just, just for clarification, I'll fellas. I'll answer you on Sunday. And I'll answer your question of 9.31, inshallah. So yeah, okay. 9.31 oh, we were reading. Uh, can you make your point first? What's the, what are you trying to say on 9.31? Make your point and I'll answer. Because you didn't clear your point. Me? And the, the verse says, which, which the brother read and the Arabic brother confirmed, uh, it's saying that the, the, the Christians and the Jews are taking their monks and rabbis for gods instead of Jesus and Allah. Simple as that. Simple as that. Very good. Very good. Very good. Okay, I got your point. So according to that verse, Jesus and Allah is uh, supposed to be worshipped. But if you read the, that's the same very verse further down. It says, Allah is the only God. Worship Allah. Uh, th that's what he's saying. Yeah, if you put the yeah, so so you can imagine that, right? You can, listen, listen, listen to this. You can imagine Muhammad uh, receiving that verse to get the Christians to get the Christians and the Jews in his side, and then a couple of weeks brother. or months later, that's when he changes his mind. He'd done that to the pagans in Mecca, brother. where he's like, "Oh, do you remember the three daughters of Allah and getting you on his side?" And then, boom, he changed and didn't like the brother, daughters I'm of Allah in sorry. the next verse. But the I'm verses came one by one, right? One after another. I'm sorry to, I'm sorry to the say verse was revealed confused. within within a bunch of years. You're acting like, oh, he got a verse, and three minutes later, he got Ooh, another verse. Sam is here, brother. I'm sorry to say that, but you're getting very excited right now, and I'm talking about the same verse. I'm not saying that any other verse at that. I'm saying very same verse is talking about a, a worship Allah. Allah is your God. But I'm going to give you another proof to understand. When you understand the Quran, you must understand holistically. And that applies to all the scriptures. So the you Arabic is lying. Too. I'm lying. Everyone's lying, right? I just one second here, guys. Salam al Masih, brother Sam. Hmm. Hey. I did not say that. <clears throat> By I the did way, not say that, brother. why are you putting words in my mouth? I didn't say the word Arabic is lying. Let me finish my answer. If you need to understand the Quran or any scripture, you must understand holistically. Now, this verse, if you understand that it's talking about Jesus and Allah should be worshipped. Then you open another verse, chapter two, verse two hundred eighty-five. This is how Quran, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala speaks in the Quran. You must, if you read two hundred two hundred two two eighty-five, can you put on the screen, please? Chapter two, verse. Yeah, but that's a contradiction, like one of many verses. That's just a, another no, 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 it's not a contradiction, contradiction that we find. It, let me explain my point. If you read that verse, then you will understand how the the linguistic of the Quran works. When the Quran, what the Quran is trying to say. You must understand holistically. So, but please uh, read chapter 2, verse uh, 285. And then you will see. What does it say? Also, after you guys get done with um, with Christian Malik's Bring question, them in I Arabic to... because yeah. they changed the translation in English. Thank you very yeah. much. I don't very have good. no verses. I don't have internet access. I'm just going by it. By... I got the verb. I'll find, I'll find I got the verb. I have the verb. Arabic brother, brother, uh, you read it, please, and be honest. So in the English, it says the messenger believes in what was sent down to him from his Lord and the believers. Each Thank you. one. Okay, that's it. That's it. That's, that's, it. that's it. it. The messenger bring believes what comes down from his Lord and the believers. So if we understand it like this, that means what messenger believes. He believes in something which comes down to him, like revelation, from Allah and the believers. 
Do we Muslim believe like that? Then Muhammad received a revelation from the believers? Abbas, can I answer that? Yes, please. Because I actually did a session on this proving, yes, actually, two problems. Number one, <clears throat> this shows the Quran is not a linguistic miracle because of these mistakes. But secondly, it is true, revelation did come from the believers. Because I have your hadith where Umar inspired Allah to inspire Muhammad with Umar's revelations. So yes, revelation did come from Allah and the believers. Umar is one of them. <laughs> you, you are, you're laughing. Does, I can give you the hadith. Does, does, no, no, does it say that, that the revelation came from Umar? Does it say that? The hadith? Yeah, well, basically. Is he a believer or is he a, is he a hypocrite? No, no. Does it say the, even the hadith? Yeah. Does it say the revelation came from? Okay, Omar? but see, this is the problem. You're you're playing games with me. I'm trying to be nice. And I'm not playing games. I'm asking you, you. You make a claim. Is Umar you make a claim that the revelation came from believers? So show me any hadith saying the revelation yes, came from I believers. You. I'll show you many examples. So you I will show you, you many examples where the believers inspired your prophet from the sound hadith, which you selectively cite. But I ask you the question. You said, <clears throat> does it say Umar? Do you believe Umar is a believer? Because you choose the hadith you like. Is Umar a believer? Of course he's a Khalifa. Of course he's okay, a so, is, so when it says from the believers, and if Umar is a believer, and if I now show you hadiths from Bukhari and Muslim, yeah. where Umar says, my Lord agreed with me in three things. Three things I said, my Lord agreed with me, and they became Quran. What are you going to say? So Umar is saying that revelation is my revelation. It comes from me. Because even your prophet said, if there was going to be a prophet after me, it would be Umar because of the amount of agreement between Allah and Umar. <clears throat> you're, making, you're making a lot of things right now. Eh? What I'm one? saying is, if God, if God agrees with you something, if God says, okay, that's, that's actually saying, Allah. Yeah, Allah agrees. You're right. I like what you said. Allah agrees with Umar. Wow. Let, Good no, no, right. let, if, if somebody says something right, and Allah said, this is right what he's saying. And I am going no, to reveal... No, but he takes his words and makes it Quran. Second, one second. One second. Mm -hmm. I am going to reveal that what what person saying, that I am going to reveal what right. he's saying. Is that a revelation? Of Did you hear what revelation, he said? A revelation so, of that person. Guys, revelation. I want to hear what I'm he said. Going by you. I'm just going by your understanding. Let's say... Not, I'm trying to make the point, but you keep talking. We got uh -huh. your point no, five times. You're not getting... Is why is thought. Allah taking the words of Omar verbatim and including it in the Quran? It's his words verbatim that Allah is repeating. It's the words of Omar that become your Quran. Why? As I said, is a revelation come from God, not from Omar? Yes? So the, Did Omar say... Did, did Umar says that write the, the, write this down because I believe that God believes with me so write that down. This well, I, I, Abbas, that. Abbas, this is the oh, point. Yeah. So, Abbas, the point the point is is that Umar says that Allah agreed with him in three ways, and then he makes statements that Allah then takes and puts in the Quran. So it's he's he's cop he's literally copying what Umar said, and it's Why? becoming verses in the Quran. Well, Why? first of all, I first of all I disagree with him that Allah copies exactly what Umar says. But he, okay. he has to prove that first of all. Secondly, is, uh... Umar never Umar never claimed that the revelation is my revelation. He didn't say that's my revelation. Yes, he did. He said he said yeah, God go. agrees. With, he, God agrees with me. That means whatever his point was, Allah says, yeah, his point is right. This, this should be right. If he's asking right. about so, hijab of a woman, so, his point so, is right. And right. So, to do his job. so, Abbas, whose point was it in the first place? Was it Allah's or was it Umar's? Well, let's put it this way. That Allah was going to... Uh, Quran is written a long time ago. Quran knows what Shita, Satan, Iblis said. Whatever Iblis is going to say. Quran knows whatever the disbelievers is going to mock Muhammad So it was all written up there. So can we say that disbelievers, whatever they say... That uh, Allah, uh, Allah reiterate, Allah also copy the disbelievers as You're well. You're giving no. a false analogy, by the way. No, no, I mean, why? Well, I'm going to tell you why it's a false analogy. <clears throat> it's yeah. difference okay. between the Quran recording what people say, and then the Quran taking word for word what someone else says. When someone else says, because these words is not the Quran saying, and Umar said it's no. These are instructions from Allah. So when the Quran quotes. And the disbelievers say, it's telling you now, it's the words of disbelievers. But in these verses, it's not, and Omar said, 
It's no, Allah said, and he's saying what Umar said. So it's a false analogy, Abbas. It's not going to work. Anyway, um, I, I made my point. Show me the hadith. I'm just waiting. I'm, what I'm reading yeah, is... He gave you a hadith. hadith. And, by the way, uh, uh, <clears throat> Avery, it's gone. I sent you a link to my article because I quote other sources that you can't find online. So if you want to read this, there are some quotes in the article from Muslim sources that are not online that we need to look up when you want to open up the page. Okay. You let me know when, okay. when to go there. Yeah, so, you can you, open it now because you want to – I quote this in the article, but – the one I want him to focus on, unless he says, oh, well, no, these are not the words of Omar. These were suggestions that Allah repeated in his own way. So if you open yeah. up that article. <clears throat> yeah, so which which one do you oh, want? The first uh, link or the second one. link? Second, second one. one. All right. Are we reading this? Or this? Yeah, we're getting there, brother. Just be patient of us. My brother in humanity. Just be patient. Hmm. Sure. He's going to open up. Uh, while, while we're waiting, my Christian uh, Malik uh, brother, another one. And by the way, I want board. Speaking of which, uh, Christian Malik, I didn't know you were a Christian because I saw someone coming on my stream last night. I thought you were a troll. I blocked you. I apologize. Now I recognize you're a Christian. Sorry, dude. Okay. So another no, one no that problem, I was make, no problem. Apart from that, as I say, Quran you need to okay. understand holistically. Quran also tells us chapter five, verse seventy-two, that Jesus says, "I'm not nothing but a prophet." And we only have one God, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Okay. Jesus in the Quran. Can you hold on to that? Can you hold on before you go to 572? Yeah, yeah, that was that was. Let's go here real quick because I have a passage where your God Allah testifies that He, the angels and men of knowledge, are all Allah, according to the Arabic. I'm going to show you that. So Allah bears witness; He's not the only one that's God, according to the Arabic Quran. I'll get there. Just first, let's take one point at a time. If you scroll down, brother, I'm going to tell you what citation to read. Scroll down; I'll tell you where to stop. <clears throat> okay, slowly, slowly, right there, right there. You went too fast, buddy. Go up, go up. You're going too fast, bro. It's gone. Go up a little more. Start right there. Start reading from there. All right. Agree? The following... Sam, the agreement... let's have a song competition. Let's do it. <laughs> the agreements of the views of Umar with subsequent uh, confirmatory revelations of Quran. Some of them make them out to make them amount to more than 20. More than Ibn, 20, Avery. Yeah. But read, go ahead. Ibn Mardawa narrated that Mujahid said, Umar used to hold a view and the Quran would be revealed with confirmation of it. Now, the word confirmation of it is in parentheses, not in the Arabic. Right, it said it would right. be revealed with it. Mm. Keep reading. May I say something? Well, hold on, hold on. We didn't get to the point. Before you read anything, before you read anything, I just well, we didn't get to the main point. Let me get to the main point. I'll tell you about myself. Anything you give other than Sahih uh, authentic hadith, I will just discard it. Okay, that's fine. You can discard. I want everyone else to see what your sources teach. That's, that's fine. fine. That's fine. Okay, that will be no more uh, uh, okay. again argument against me. Okay. Keep okay. reading, brother. Ibn Asakir narrated that Ali said in the Quran. There are some of the views of Umar. He narrated from Ibn Umar as a mar marfu. When people said one thing and Umar said another, the Quran would be revealed with the like of what Umar said. That's problematic as well. We're not, you're not going to read all of it. You're just going to get to this one specific part. Keep going. I'll tell all you right. The two sheikhs narrated that Umar said... Okay, now, for him who doesn't know who the two sheikhs are, that's Sahih Muslim, Sahih Bukhari. So he wanted just Sahih, right? Yes. Okay, this is Sahih. Sahih Bukhari, Sahih Muslim. This is what it's quoting from. Keep that in mind. All right. So the two sheikhs narrated that Umar said, I agreed with my Lord in three things. I said, Messenger of Allah, if only we were to take the station of Ibrahim as a place of prayer. And there was revealed and take the station of Ibrahim as a place of prayer. Chapter 2, verse 125. I said, Messenger of Allah, both good and bad people come to visit your wives. If only you would order them to wear hijabs. And the ayah of the hijab was revealed. The wives of the prophet united in jealousy. And so I said, perhaps his Lord, if he divorces you, will give him in exchange wives better than you. And it was revealed that just like that, with exactly the same words, 
Wait, this system. comes from Bukhari and Muslim, which you showed up in Sunnah.com. That's right. So did I misread this, that the Quran repeated with the exact same words what Umar said as part of the Quran? That's correct. That's what it said. And that's so in the Quran. The, example, the whole point was the example you use backfired get you on bus. Actually, does no, prove that revelation came from Allah and the believers? No, it doesn't. I tell you why. First of all, even if it's in Sahih Hadith, what he's saying, he's saying what what Allah was going to reveal. He says, uh, "I agree. Okay. I agree with my Lord." He didn't say, "My no, Lord." That's one variant of us. The variant we quote says, "My Lord agreed with me." This Hadith you're reading right now. First of all, he's saying, "I agreed yeah. with my Lord." He said that's Secondly, a variant. Secondly, there's another Secondly, variant says, "The Lord okay, agreed with okay. me." Okay, okay, okay. Secondly, Allah, we know uh, Quran has been written from Lahi Mahfuz, it is in Lahi Mahfuz. Yeah, it's not when Mumar says something, he's written. We don't out. know that. I don't know which, that. Which, claim that. No, no, we, 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 we Muslims believe that. I think there is a hadith as well uh, about that, but I can't quote you right now. I'm sure you know. So, <laughs> secondly, okay. whatever is going to reveal, Allah inspired some people, come to some people's minds. That Here, they, they Allah inspires some people, guys. Hold them. This is yeah. recorded. Say it again. Allah, Allah did what? Allah, Allah do inspire some people. Yes, inspire. I did. Inspire. Yeah, Wahi. Okay. Wahi. No, it's, uh, Maryam. Allah, Quran says to Maryam. Wahi. Angel, so angel, Allah angel, gave did, did. Umar Wahi, though he's not a messenger or a prophet. And there's a no, debate no, no. among ulama if Maryam was a prophetess because some say she can be, some say a woman cannot be. Keep it up, Abbas. Keep, I'm giving you rope. Maryam's mother. Maryam's mother was inspired as well. That's yes, because the family of Imran, they are so, so, so Allah, 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 Allah put something on some people's minds. Whatever is going to reveal, that comes to their mind and they advise and that was going to reveal. That does not mean that Allah is copying what, what people are saying. Allah is revealing because they are saying that. Because nowhere you'll find the Prophet ever said that. Nowhere even any companion will say that. That revelation is from me. That, that is my revelation. We all believe that, and the Quran says, the Prophet says, Quran is the revelation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that destroys your point that this is the, re the no, revelation actually, it is also come from the it, believers. It didn't. Let me tell you why. Well, show, it didn't. Me, yeah. show me where the Prophet says the revelation come from the believers. Prophet ever said that? You quoted it, chapter Never. 2, verse 285. No, no, no. What I'm saying you is did. the link. You, did you not quote the Quran? Revelations come from the Lord and the believers? So you buried yourself. No. You quoted no, 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 it. No, no, no. Arabic saying? No, no, no. I want you to understand the holistically the Quran holistically. If the Quran is saying Jesus is the Lord, it should be instead of Allah and Jesus, then the Quran should never say that Jesus says your Lord is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, your Lord and my Lord is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay, I'll get and, to that point. Okay. Abbas, no, I can understand, you, but you first you ask me just, to change. So you're changing the you topic. You okay, hold on. Abbas, let me deal with your point one at a time. I'll go to five seventy two. Just be patient. No, I will address five seventy two. But you said, show me in the Quran. I did. The verse you quoted buried you. I didn't quote Surah Al-Baqarah 2, 285. You did. So the Quran says, Revelation is from your Lord and believers. Live with it. That's no, the Arabic. You can't get around it. No, no, no. Do we Muslims believe can that? Can you show them chapter 2, verse 285 again so we can laugh too? Do we, do we, do we Muslims believe that? Do, this is no, the believer, you Muslims believe are brainwashed. Muslim. Even if the Quran smacks you in the face, you're going to deny it. Yeah, that's the whole point. You're brainwashed. But we're gonna go with you. We understand what Quran is saying. We and we understand what the Quran is saying. That because the five nine thirty one, if you complete yeah. the verse, it's telling you Allah is your Lord. When he says Jesus, okay. and besides Allah, Jesus. Very. Do you want to go back to nine thirty one? Because you keep changing the topic. Yes. First, it was show you. So you want to forget two two eighty five? I'll go with you to nine thirty one. But the verse you quoted, if you look at the Arabic, the messenger believes in what was sent down to him from his Lord and the believers. That's your verse. The Arabic says that the wahi, the revelation, comes from his Lord and the believers. That's the Arabic. You're stuck with it. You quoted it. I'm just taking it to its conclusion. Why did you quote it? I, I was showing you this is the linguistic of the Quran. You don't You don't understand like that. Sometimes the, the word believers, which is from the beginning, it comes later on. But people did understand what exactly it means. This is the linguistic of the Quran. That's why I said 931 when it says, beside Quran. Allah and Jesus, it says Allah is your Lord. Same, very same Quran saying that. Worship Allah is your Lord. So if Jesus and Allah are supposed to be, we should be worshiping Jesus and Allah, so why is uh, the worst well, ending? Actually, no. Uh, now, if I want me to deal with 931, I'll be more than happy to because you keep going yes, to please. 932. 
where you says that Allah is one. Well, probably you don't understand that Christians don't believe that Allah and Jesus, if we take Allah to be God, as two gods. So when you quote to me something saying Allah is one, in the same context that it says that Allah and Jesus are Lord, that's what I expect to find. Because in our belief, God the Father and Jesus are one God, not two gods. So what are you disproving exactly? Can you put that verse on the screen? Because yeah, I don't nine, remember. You right mentioned nine, so finish it, read it on, right? Okay. So what are you exactly disproving when you quote me where it says Allah is one? When if we go by the assumption Allah of the Quran is the God of the Bible, I don't share that assumption, but let's for the argument's sake. Yes, we believe God is one. So when we say Father is Lord, Son is Lord, Holy Spirit is Lord, it's not because they're three gods or three lords. Father and Son and Holy Spirit are one in their deity and lordship because Jesus possesses the lordship of his father. So amen. Allah and Jesus are Lord and God is one. All praise be to the Messiah. What do you refute? Ma Mas Yeshua. Yeah. What okay, do you refute? Okay. The, okay, no, no, hang on a minute. In the Quran, when it says that you, uh, do you uh, tell your um, believers, um, your mother and um, worship me, my mother and Allah beside us? That no, verse no, is talking see, about. You misquoted the, the verse in front of my question. No, it didn't say that. Okay. Surah Al-Maida 5.116 says, did you tell mankind to take you and your mother as two gods? In Besides Allah. Well, once again, I'm going to challenge you, Ambas, because you said, I don't understand it this way. Quote to me any historic reference before, during the time of Christ that says, Jesus and Mary are two different gods from Allah, as opposed to saying that the Father and Holy Spirit are one God. Can you show me that reference anywhere? You, you changing the topic right now? No, you're the one who went to 5116. No, 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 no. I, I yeah, went to show you. The Quran says that Jesus will be asked, did you tell your mother, people, to take you and your mother or worship you and your mother? I said you misquoted it. It didn't say I'll worship tell you why. Okay. i tell you why I quoted that. Because yes, you were trying to make a point that 9, 931, you're trying to say that when it says Allah is one, that means Allah is saying Jesus and uh, Allah is one. Um, so, so they just said Allah is one. No. Because Quran again and again distinguish Allah and Jesus separately. It never makes them one. So nine thirty one. Nine thirty one does. Except in nine thirty one. No, oh. So that's what I'm saying. You are nitpicking <clears throat> some verses and you saying this is what it is, but you're not holistically understanding the Quran. The whole message you need to understand what the Quran saying. Can I can Quran I correct saying you Jesus was a messenger of God? Jesus no, he's more was than Allah. That. Sorry? No, your Quran says he's more than that because it says he's the word of Allah sent down to Mary in a spirit from him. So, the, And I don't believe in your Quran, but I'm showing you, you keep begging the question that the Quran is consistent. We don't share that conviction. Just like when you Muslims try to nitpick on the Bible and showing its contradictions, <clears throat> we're giving you a taste of your own medicine. I don't believe your Quran is consistent. I don't believe it's <clears throat> free of contradictions. But even what you said is not true because you know, as well as I do, the Quran says Jesus is more than a messenger because he's the word of Allah sent down to Mary in a spirit from him. So I don't know if you don't think that we, we know your Quran. Maybe you think um, I was born yesterday. I was born the day before, by the way. But your Quran says Jesus is kalimatuhu al-qaha illa maryam. The word cast down to Mary, ruh and minhu. Can you show me that language used for a mere messenger in the Quran? Uh, you again changing the goalpost right now here. Let's stick with did, 931. Did I, you I'm said the Quran says he's 31. only a messenger. No, 931. No, no, okay, 931. Let's stay with 931. 931. What, 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 what did Allah and what Jesus did Andrew are say? It says, look, earlier it says Jesus <laughs> and Allah are this side of Christ. Yes? Yeah, it's I can't it's hear you. making two. Can no, you hear me now? They're one in their lordship. Now, in fact, I'm going to prove it to you. Can you, can, can uh, you make that big? I, I want to make a point here. I want to read the whole word. Go ahead and make the point. Yeah, make okay. your point. Because it's very important. Yeah, I am on the phone. Whenever I change the screen, go to the Quran. That's why I break my voice break. That's why I want you to make the screen is bigger. That'll be, that'll be better. Uh, is but I'll good? Do it anyway. I'll read. Okay. Is this good? Can you hear me the now? Boss? Yeah. Can you see the screen? Yeah, this is better. Yeah, this is better. Yeah. So okay. they have taken their rabbis, and their monks as lords apart from God and the Messiah, Mary's son. And yep. they were commanded to serve but one God. There is no God but He. Can you uh, the rest of it? Yep. Glory 
feet with him. Above that, they associate. Now, if you see the very same words, it's distinguished earlier Allah and Jesus. Separate mentioning two, Allah and Jesus. But later on, it's talking about one. Yes. It's, it's, uh, and they were commanded to serve but one God. There is no God but He. So earlier there were two, then later on that's one. How does it make sense to you? Okay, can it's I answer you? Or actually you can one because they, yes, please answer me. Because okay. your Quran says that Jesus is the word of Allah. Yeah, let, well, let, 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 let him do it. I know you're excited. Man. Hold on. Let me again repeat what wasn't clear the first time. <clears throat> we believe God in this context, the one who sent Jesus' Father, and Jesus are one God. So to quote a verse that says, they are commanded to serve only one God. There is no God but He. Far above what He associates, we say amen. Because in that context, you're already told that the one God you serve is God and the Messiah together. And then to confirm that the Messiah is one with God, and together they're the one God. The brother just mentioned it. If Jesus is the Word of God, like you believe about the Quran, that means that Jesus, that Jesus, though distinct from God, is inseparable from him because you cannot separate God and his word. Together they are one. So what are you refuting again? And let me add a second point. Okay. Hold okay. well, on. Let me add a second point. If now I go to the commentary, can I add the second point? If I go to the commentary, when you had a Christian who converted to Islam, this is in Ibn Kathir, when he told Muhammad, we do not serve, serve our rabbis. We don't worship them. Because this verse says that they took their rabbis and monks as lords. We don't take them as lords. He goes, yes, you do. He goes, how? How do we take them as lords? Because you obey anything they tell you. So if they prohibit something that Allah made lawful, you obey them. And if they make lawful something Allah prohibited, then you <clears throat> obey them instead of Allah. In that way, you make them your lord. So understand what? Muhammad said, how do you make someone your Lord? This is Ibn Kathir. So you can get my point so you can refute me. The way you make someone your Lord is you obey him and do what he tells you. Well, surprise, surprise. That means if I obey Jesus and do what he commands me, according to the dimension of your prophet, he is my Lord. Surprise, surprise. So here what Allah is saying is don't follow the rabbis and monks and make them Lord over you. Because they're not authorized to do so. Follow me and Jesus because we have the authority to tell you what to do and how to do it. Bye bye, Abbas. So your second no, second point is that because you obey Jesus so that he's your Lord. No, that's so Muhammad's second, God, not mine. No, that's Muhammad. Muhammad's God. Okay. You want me to so show Muhammad you Muhammad's said, Muhammad said obey Jesus, yes? No, Muhammad said the way you make someone Lord, I thought I was clear, see? Maybe no, you no, don't. No, want that's, to... that's, that's clear. That, that, According to Muhammad, how do you make that, someone your lord? Yeah, I, I got that. I got that point. Okay, that if you I want to see if you got. Them, how do you make someone your lord? If you obey them and you disregard God, if you disregard yes. God and you no, not them. only disregard. No, 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 no. Yes, not disregard. That's very important. Point. Obedience to someone makes him your lord. Now you can obey someone <clears throat> over against Allah, or you can obey someone in agreement with Allah. No, no, that Hadith is saying. That you, you, what God prohibits and your, your, your Lord, your rabbis, they allow you. That means you are worshipping them. What means they are going against the will of God and you're following them and not God. And we do not believe exactly. Jesus says anything. Jesus says anything that goes against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So no. any messenger, whatever they say, obey Allah, obey, Allah, obey the messenger. Atiullah, atiya Rasul. So yeah, we you're obey Allah and that the you're messenger. Mohammedans. No. That's one of Allah, what meaning Mohammedans. That what, what Muhammad is saying in the hadith, that you obey them and not Allah. Allah says something, they say something, you follow them. So that's how you be make them your God. And that's God. what I just said, but right? You, no, yeah, yeah. But but when Jesus says something, he doesn't say anything against Allah. So uh, yeah, messenger never go against Allah subhanahu wa So that doesn't mean you, Abbas, you, you make Abbas, them your this, Lord. This, Abbas, just, just very quick here. I'll, I'll mute my mic just very quick. Abbas, this goes with what I mentioned the first time, where in the Quran it says that Jesus is a word from Allah Yes. from Allah and then Jesus does what he does and then he goes he went back unto him again yes. so the word proceeds from God and returns okay. back to God and it goes with this verse no. as well that, that that even if we say that Jesus is the word of God it doesn't contradict uh, uh, the, 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 the verse the 931 verse yeah, I'm trying to make we're being consistent and honest yeah. and by the we way Abbas, believe, 
word from way, Allah meaning Allah has spoken and he became. Allah no, that's has not said, what it means. No. He and I'll, he I'll give you $10 million. Dollars, show me that from 4171. No, in, that's not in, what it means. In, in that sense, we Muslims believe that, that he's a word that's of Allah. That's not what 4171 says. He had no thought. He had no father he created with miracle. He just was created. Allah, Allah said it and he became. it a third time. That's not what 4171 says. It says he's the word ca conveyed, cast down to Mary, a spirit from him. It didn't say what you said. So don't now you're doing what the Quran accuses Jews and Christians of doing, twisting the Quran by their tongues. 4171 did not say what you said. 4171 said Jesus is the word of Allah sent down to Mary and came as a spirit from him. So if you want to butcher your Quran, you can do that, but I'm not going to let you do it in front of me because I've read your Quran. But before we go to 4171, you quoted verses, what I actually prove that you guys are Mohammedans. You thought by quoting verses where it says, obey Allah and his messenger, means that you're free of shirk? No, that's actually why we call you Mohammedans. Because the Quran equates obedience and submission to Muhammad as being equal to that of Allah. In fact, in 465 Abbas, you know what perfect submission is? Perfect submission is perfectly submitting, submitting to everything Muhammad decides. It says that you perfectly submit to all his decisions. If that's not shirk in association, I don't know what is. In 465, that you're told that true submission is to submit to all of Muhammad's decisions. And then Ibn Kathir records a tradition. When two people went to Muhammad and Muhammad decided for one person, so let's imagine Chris Claus and Avery came to me, and I'm Muhammad, God forbid, and I decide in favor of Avery. Now, Chris Claus didn't like it. So they went to Abu Bakr, and Abu Bakr asked, did the messenger decide? Yeah, well, the case is closed. Well, Chris Claus did, still didn't like it. They went to Umar. This is an Ibn Kathir. Umar asked, did the messenger decide? Yeah. And the person still didn't submit? No. It says, he went inside, brought a sword, and he cut off the man's neck. He beheaded him for not agreeing with Muhammad's decision in a manner, in a dispute. And then the verse came down condoning it. If this does not make you a Mohammedan, I don't know what does. So how are you going to respond uh, to that? Since I don't memorize the Quran, can you, can you quote the yeah, verse exactly 65. what he says? What he's saying? Read 465. 465 yes. And then you can bring up Ibn Kathir. Remember what he says. Remember what he yeah. says. Whatever Muhammad decides, you do it. Mm -hmm. Right here, 465, yes. and I'll give you Ibn Kathir. Yeah, I'm gonna. I want you to see if you remember what no, I no, said. No, 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 no. I don't want Ibn Kathir. I want the Quran first, not Ibn Kathir. Ibn Kathir I just said we're gonna go to the Quran, Quran, and Quran. you remember what I said. If not, then you're going to say Muhammad is a fake prophet. Read it for him. All right. Allahu Akbar. Says, but no, see. but no, by thy Lord, they will not believe till they make the the judge regarding the disagreement between them, then they shall find in themselves no impediment touching thy verdict, but shall surrender in full submission. Now, do you agree with that? Because you thought I misquoted it. Um, I, I'm just looking for the word Muhammad here. Hmm. Oh, so you mean, no, by thy Lord, they will not believe till they make thee. Yeah, that was talking about Omar. Guys, it's talking about anybody, Omar. Anybody see the word Muhammad here? Yeah? Anyone see Umar there? So it's Umar. Can we, you can we, can, no, no, I'm, I'm not saying this. Can Who we go is back the one the? word? Who is the the? Can we go back? I'll, I'll teach you something uh, right oh, And now. 64 is going to bury you even more. Can you go back one verse? Because no, no, I, I want to bury you. No, 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 no. Now I'm going to bury no, no, this no, guy. What, you don't know what is coming to you. You don't know what is coming to you. Yeah, yeah. Can you read, read them? Yeah, no, no, no one's coming to me. Yeah, go ahead, read it. We sent not ever any messenger, but that he should be obeyed, Um, but that he should... Yeah, be obeyed by the leave of God. If when they wronged themselves, they had come to thee and prayed forgiveness of God and the messenger had prayed forgiveness for them, they would have found God's God. Yep. They would have found God turns all compassionate. Now, who's Thank the messenger you, there, boss? Whoa, 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 whoa. Calm who's down, the calm messenger down. there, boss? Calm, calm down. Muhammad is no, the I'm messenger. I'm actually going to no calm doubt. Muhammad down if you keep talking this way. No, Who's the messenger no there? Doubt. No doubt. Messenger is Muhammad. Prove it. Doesn't but say Muhammad. It. Prove it. The Quran came to Muhammad. Prove oh, it. It came to Muhammad. Muhammad. 
Prove it. Muhammad is, the, the, Quran Muhammad only. is the messenger of the Quran. Prove, listen to my challenge, because I want to play your yeah. game to show your stupidity. Prove yeah, to yeah. me the messenger here is Muhammad from the Quran. Screw your hadith. Show me where it says Muhammad. Okay, okay. Clear logic. Okay, okay. One second, one second, one second. I'm going to prove from the Quran that Muhammad is the messenger of the Quran. That's Not here. Second. You won't. No, you won't. One, one second. One second. In the, the name Quran, Muhammad said, only appears four times. I, I, I said in the Quran. That this occurrence of messenger means Muhammad, not someone else. Muhammad, well, listen to me carefully what I'm saying. I did listen to you. I'm going to, prove, I'm, going to, I'm going to prove to you from another words after this that no, Muhammad you can't. is the president. No. I'm, I'm let me, just, let me I'm tell you now. One, one second. You I will. One, one second, guys. One, 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 okay, one Avery. Second. One Avery. second. Yeah. What, hold, hold on. Abbas. Abbas. So he's he's literally turning what you did to him against you. Like you you know how when you was like kind of jokingly saying, "Hum, I'm just trying to see where it says Muhammad here." Hum, trying to imply that it's not about Muhammad. Yeah. He's wrong that it's referring to Muhammad, right? So in the context, he showed like you agreed that this is the messenger here is Muhammad, but now he's turning it back on you. Like, okay, prove it to me. Where where does it say the word Muhammad here? Because you you brought this argument like this was what the tactic that you just used two minutes ago. Every, you know I, mean? I listen. Did you, did you hear me what I said when he said who is this messenger? I yes. said he is Muhammam. Did yes. you hear me what I said? Yes. I said, this you is hear my response, Abbas. Let me repeat my no, response. No, 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 no. No, in a way, in a way, I'm agreeing with it. He's talking about Muhammad. Uh, we oh, know so agreeing four sixty five is about Muhammad. I am, but listen okay, to me carefully. To let, let me answer the you, question. If you let me finish, if you let me finish, why are you please? wasting our time in playing games? Go no, back to this, because, I, and deal because, with I, because I'm, I'm going to teach you something very important that you will yeah. remember. You will never forget. Me a lot you never forget this. You so never forget. Forget this. So go ahead. Yeah. Now listen to me. When if I say something, if I am the authority, and I say obey that judge, you must obey the judge. But that judge name is also John. Am I saying obey John and am I saying obey the judge? Because his position as a judge, Does this guy you know what he's cannot about? reject. One second, one second. I have a guy in drugs or something? What, what, what I'm saying is, you, this his position as a judge. I make him judge. You should never disobey the judge. Same way this Quran is saying, not saying obey Muhammad. It's saying obey the messenger. And who's the messenger? He's the messenger of Allah. Of 65. So, so, whenever, so whenever a messenger is saying something, because he's a messenger, a messenger of who? Your God. So obey the messenger. Otherwise, how come Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala correcting Muhammad in the Quran? Allah is correcting Muhammad in the Quran, Surah Abasa. Blind man came to you. Why you why you uh, frown? Okay, uh, Abbas, you, you ranted Allah enough. Telling me more. Okay. Calm down, Abbas. Breathe. Because I'm thinking you're smoking too much hashish. So now let's come back to 465. Nowhere in the... Okay, can we come back to 465? Yeah. Now that you proved that I was right, stop the Quran, you find me, Muhammad. let me make my Never. point. Okay, calm down. I know this is your brain on the black stone. 465, now that you proved it is Muhammad, stop your tap then. So who's speaking messenger. to you? Who said? So the messenger's name is what? Aisha? Muhammad, Muhammad as a messenger, not okay, Muhammad so, as a Muhammad. All right. So His all position. this, okay. Messenger Yafur. Ibn Shihab, the the jackass, the donkey. Okay, Muhammad, the messenger. Is the verse saying that they will not believe till they make you messenger Muhammad? So you agree it's Muhammad here? The messenger? The position, the position, the messenger. You, 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 will you want to go back forever. to lick the black stone? You're playing games now. What, the messenger, whatever, are they to submit to him? Or no? I to what I... I got you there. I think you're ignoring me. Got I think you? people got people got it. Okay. Yeah, you got me. Let's try it again. Do are you supposed to submit to the messenger Muhammad? Yes or no, according to this verse. Messenger Muhammad, absolutely yes. Okay, so but why did Muhammad you waste a minute of our life? No, no, because because when you say Muhammad and Muhammad as a person, he himself says that. Whenever I tell you about worldly things, you know better than me. Are you attacking the straw man? Let's stick to the passage. Stop your straw man. The issue was, which you try to do to dap dance. Let's come back again. Now that it took five minutes. You wasted our life to agree with what I was saying. But you don't said, ever use the word. I Muhammad. said. Don't ever use I the said, word. Don't say that. Because Quran doesn't say that. That's a very important point. Allah, I Allah said is using that word according to the Quran, you are supposed to submit to your fake messenger, Muhammad, with perfect submission. Do you agree now? As a messenger, yes. 
Okay. As a so, person, so that it's means our Islam is submitting equally to Allah and the Messenger Muhammad, right? Yeah, because he's the messenger of yeah, Allah. Yeah, oh, so you just made my case again. So you wasted 10 minutes of my life to just agree with me at the end. Why are you playing these games? Exactly, to basically well, uh, agree at the end. <laughs> I'm sorry if you didn't think I wasted I think you didn't, you didn't no, you get did. it. What minutes, because you agreed with me after 10 minutes when we could have gotten to the point 10 minutes earlier. Okay, so no, would, you are a Muhammad. No, when, you, when, you, when you say Muhammad as a man, we uh, believing everything, that's where you're no, wrong. I'm saying I'm Muhammad saying, as a genie. No, Muhammad as, as a, a messenger. As a messenger, because he's bringing a message from God. You're not getting that. I'll give so you an there example. Is no need, there is no need to keep saying obey Allah and his messenger because if you're obeying the message, all you need to say is obey Allah. You don't need to repeat obey Allah and the messenger. All you need to say is obey Allah because you get the point. Obviously, Muhammad is conveying Allah's message, so obey Allah. The fact that he keeps emphasizing obey Allah and his messenger means... That it's not just the message, it's the person that's being exalted. No, you're wrong here. You okay, understand yeah, I'm going to make it easy for you. I'm going to make it easy for you to prove me wrong. When you want to become a Muslim, because you, you selectively cite whatever hadith you want, because it's your version of Islam, do you say shahada? Do, if I want to become Muslim, do I have to take shahada? Yes. You sure? Oh, okay, because I don't want you now give me 20 minute speech and you come back and agree with me. Okay, so can I be a Muslim if I simply say there is no God but Allah? Full stop. Yes. You sure? Yes. 100%. Okay, so which mosque, masjid you go to that says yes? For me, uh, my, uh, my, knowledge, my knowledge comes from Muhammad more than any mosque. Where? Sayyid what mosque? Then, see, then you lied to me again because I'm going to quote to you Muhammad telling you what the shahada is. So you lied to me again. No, if I you're going to go to the hadith, the hadiths are clear. The shahada is not simply saying there's no God but Allah. Do I need to quote the hadith or are you going to be honest with me? Let me repeat it again. The, I'm going to quote the hadith first and then you quote your hadith. Is that okay with you? Okay. Give me your hadith that says to become a Muslim, you only say there is no God but Allah. Okay. 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 There's a hadith with Muhammad Sallallahu his uh, uncle, Abu Talib, when he was dying, he was in his deathbed. The Muhammad Sallallahu went there. And he said, oh, oh, my, uh, oh, accept Allah and say, La ilaha illallah. That's exactly what he said. La ilaha illallah and I will be your witness on the day of judgment. All right. On, his, on the deathbed of his uncle, he told him, La ilaha illallah. He didn't say, Ashadunna Muhammad Rabduhu Rasulullah. He didn't say that. Open that so article. That's, my, that's my evidence. According to Muhammad yeah, yeah. Lie, yeah. Lie, very, lie, nice lie, very beautiful evidence. So, okay. So now I'm going to say, La ilaha illallah, but I'm going to reject Muhammad. If you believe in Allah, you believe everything Allah says. And you have to no. read the Quran. No, no, no. No, 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 no. That, that part of the so shahada. The Quran. Quran. What you quoted, listen to yourself. Stop embarrassing yourself. What you quoted is all you say, La ilaha illallah. And sufficient. So I'm going to say, for argument's sake, La ilaha illallah and the Allah of the Bible, but I reject Muhammad. Am I a Muslim? When you say La ilaha illallah, you are told you need to read the Quran now. You you need to understand the Quran because that Allah who you believe in. Where did now, that hadith he... say I have to understand the Quran? I'm going by the hadith you quoted. Oh, Show wow, me where that hadith Allah. says. Now you need to read the Quran. Guys, after you say the guys seriously, guys, uh, come on, guys. Tell, okay. tell him let's stop your game let's go back to the issue right now. let's stop your game let's come back to your issue let me yes. repeat the question can yes. i say there is no god but allah and be a muslim yes absolutely okay, so no then, no no it. abbas abbas you're lying because 929 no, 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 even malik, contradicts that christian malik just be patient right guys i i believe I allah of the bible is the true god so i say there is no god but allah and muhammad is a false prophet because all I need to say is there's no God but Allah. So I'm a Muslim now, according to Abbas. No, no, no. Thank you, Abbas. No, now, you, now you've been really behaving silly right now. When you no, say I want to become Muslim. Silly. Now Listen. open up the article to show no. him what the true shahada is. No. When you say you want to become Muslim, where are you going to go? Synagogue, church, or are you going to go mosque? So Muslim only means submission, right? What? Muslim only means submission, right? Now, now, who's playing games here right now? Okay, hold, so Muslim doesn't mean submission, means to do ballet dancing? What does Muslim mean? So which which people what of does the Muslim world, mean? 
since 1400 years they're saying la ilaha what illallah. What does Muslim mean before I go to the 1400 years? Submit your will to the true God. Okay, so I submit my will to Allah revealed in Jesus and I reject Muhammad as an antichrist. So I'm a Muslim. Yeah. Okay, no, no. no one, second, one second. Let me ask you a question then. Do you exactly. believe the Quran is the word of God? You no, believe I believe it's actually trash from Satan, but I still say there is no God but Allah. Okay, so you're not Muslim. You're not Muslim. There is the answer. Why? You're not Muslim. Why? Because because we Muslim will tell you if you believe in no, Allah. No, no, no. You, the hadith you, you quoted. No, 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 no. Go to the hadith you quoted to Abu Talib. Yeah. I'm using yes. your hadith yeah. to bury you. Go to that hadith. Show me where yeah. Muhammad said, Oh, uncle, say there is no God but Allah, and I'll start reading the Quran. Is that what the hadith said? So when Abu Talib died, Muhammad Sallallahu was preaching Quran in Mecca, yes? Oh, so you went out of that hadith and went to other hadiths. That's what I'm going to do now. Now go to my no, hadith. No, 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 no. If you are really going to behave ignorant, I guess I can't help you on that. You must understand no, no. when Abu Talib was... Well, Muhammad when, was, who was an Umi, so I'm who, a good company. Me and him are both Umi. Was, so that article, Avery, because I want to quote the real shout You keep shutting it down, brother. You're killing me. It's gone. Damn. Damn, oh, no, let's, go to, the, let's go to the other. Damn, you're better than that. Be trust me, you're better than that. No, I'm actually stooping to your level. If you don't get it, I don't know what to tell you. It's I'm stooping to your level. I think you're, you're still better than that. Friend, I can't get better when I have to stoop to your level. If you go higher, I'll go higher with you. So can you go higher? Personal attacks doesn't help. Make your point. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me get that true idea. Right, I'm sorry, I gave you the wrong one. This one's a good one too, but this is the mm. one I want. It's gone. Oh. <laughs> Here we go. This one. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Now let's read what the true shahada is, and then we're gonna ask the question again. That took me 20 minutes to get to the same point. This is the tap dance again. A lot of snack bar. All right, open it up if you can enlarge it so they can see. All right, old people of the book. This is quoting 4171. If you want to read it for us, and then this is from Bukhari. Oh, people of the book, do not go to excess concern your, concerning your deen. Say nothing but the truth about Allah. The Messiah, Isa, son of Maryam, was only the messenger of Allah and his word, which he cast into Maryam and a spirit from him. So believe in Allah and his messengers. Do not say three. It is better that you stop. Allah is only one God. He is too glorious to have a son. Everything in the heavens and everything in the earth belongs to him. Allah, Allah is enough as a guardian. Now read now the hadith that goes with this. This is giving you the ayah that goes with this hadith. This is in Bukhari. All right. Three, uh, 3252, right? Yep. It is related from Ubadah. That the prophet said, whoever testifies that there is no God but Allah alone, with no partner, and that Muhammad is his slave and messenger, that Isa is the slave of Allah and his messenger, and a word which he cast into Maryam and a spirit from him, and that the garden is real and the fire is real, will enter the garden, whatever his actions. Okay, You'll read the last part, and then we'll see if Abbas is going to be honest. It is related from Junada that he that he added, and he can enter by whichever of the eight doors of the garden he wishes. And this is from Sail Bukhari, the tra English translation of Aisha Buli. So now, now guys, everyone saw what the Shahada is, right? Yeah. There is no God but Allah. Muhammad is a slave and his messenger. And then you include that Isa is the slave of Allah's messenger and a word which he cast into Maryam and a spirit from him. So now that it took me 20 minutes to come to this point, for me to become a Muslim, Abbas, I have to bear witness there is no God but Allah and Muhammad is his messenger. So can now you stop the tap dance and agree? Okay. You got it? You, you finished? You got it, right? Um, so, so according to this hadith, the full shahada should be all exactly. that garden and the fire and everything is real. All you Not have only like that, action. Jesus too, right? Yes. So yes. let's go with uh, it because it's making my point. Okay. I'm showing you what the true shahada is. So now you cannot be a Muslim and therefore you cannot be on the path of salvation by simply saying there is no God but Allah. You have to say there is no God but Allah. Muhammad is his messenger and his slave and Jesus is his slave and his word which he casts into Mary and a spirit from him and the gardener is real and hellfire is real. Now as a Christian, I have no problem associating Jesus with God because without Jesus... 
you can't have God and there's no salvation. But for the life of me, why do I need to include Muhammad in a shahada for me to be Muslim, to be saved, if Muhammad is not necessary for my salvation? Okay. Now, earlier you asked me a question. Can you be Muslim by saying there's no God but Allah? And my answer was yes. Which I proved from my piece. No, one second. Let me do one. Yeah, but I didn't say that. Represent me accurately. You said, you said, can you be a Muslim by just saying la ilaha yes. illallah? Yeah. And I said, yes. And I proved from the hadith. The hadith says, when his uncle was dying, he says, please say la ilaha illallah. So on the day of judgment, I will be your witness. What he was saying, meaning you said it, you become Muslim. So according to that hadith, that is sufficient for you to be Muslim. Okay, so right? I'm going to go with that. Say, if you, if you, no, no. Yeah, I did not say that if you add a Shaduna Muhammad Rasulullah and the fire no, and all that. that I'm going to go with that hadith. Go back is, to that point again. That is, that is addition and you can do that as well. There's nothing no, wrong no, with no. that. Let me go with that hadith. Let me go with that hadith. I'm going to go with you. You took an isolated... And when I said I didn't say that, meaning in the context, as we're trying to get you to admit, the shahada is not just that part. But yes, it's okay. Now, that hadith, I'm going to just go with that hadith. We ignore the context that Abu Talib is about to die. Let's ignore that. Let's make that now for all people at all time. So we're going to ignore it. I'm not going to say there is no God but Allah, but I reject Muhammad. The, but, but that's not shahada. That's not shahada. You, 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 don't need, you don't need to say I reject Muhammad. You don't no, need no. to say that. I do believe there's no God but Allah, if you mean the God of the Bible. Okay. But I'll never follow Muhammad because according to Allah of the Bible, Muhammad is an antichrist. Yeah. So if I just go with there is no God but Allah, I pass the test. I don't need your Muhammad. As I was making point earlier and you um, butt in and you just really made, make, let me make, finish my point. Well, I was saying when Abu Talib, who was telling him to say la ilaha illallah? A man who's preaching the Quran. Meaning he's saying, just believe in my God, Allah, and that man who, be, who preached the Quran. So yeah. if you reject the Quran and say, la ilaha illallah, you didn't really believe Where in Allah. Where does that hadith you reject, say? You reject, you reject his revelation. Where does that hadith say, what you just quoted, all of what you said was necessary? I just want you to use your little bit I'm just going by what the hadith, and I'm. it's sad you don't get it. This is why it's a waste of time. Dog. Alhamdulillah. Coming back to your issue. You just quoted a hadith where it says, all you need to say, there is no God but Allah, to Abu Talib, who is steeped in idolatry, so he wouldn't die in idolatry, but in the oneness of Allah. In order to make your point, that's all you need. But then you add it, you got to follow the Quran. That hadith, just say that hadith, don't go nowhere else. Show me that hadith that you quoted, where it says all of that. You got to follow the Quran and follow Muhammad. In that hadith. In that hadith, if you have any kind of a common sense or a knowledge of Islam or history, can you open up chapter 18? We're not going to get no, anywhere. No, but Muhammad, Muhammad at that time was preaching Islam and he was preaching Quran for 10 years. So, how can you say Where you believe in Allah but, say, but, you, but you're getting... rejecting his revelation? I don't you're care ignoring... what Muhammad preached before that. I'm going by the single isolated hadith you quoted to now use your criterion against you and you're not getting it. You quoted one isolated hadith to make your point. So I'm playing your game. Let's ignore everything else. But now when I nail you, no, no, no. Let's take these other things into consideration. So are you going to stop your nonsense and come to the issue that I cannot be a Muslim if I don't say there is no God but Allah and Muhammad is his messenger? Are you going to admit that or are you going to go back to your nonsense again so we can repeat this for another 50 minutes? Listen, I, 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 I'm not being here trying to insult you or anything, but I think yeah. you... Can, in your can honor, we admit you cannot be a Muslim without the you, no God you, Muhammad's you messenger? Think, you, think like, you think like your honor is online and you're losing the argument, so you're just trying to just... Uh, be you sure? Here. We're all that's laughing why, at your prophet. That's, that's why, that's that's why, why, why I, I like to ask... Losing means you. laughing at your prophet, I want to lose all day. Okay, now... That's why I like to ask a question to Brother Do you agree, Abbas? Abbas, do you agree... Abbas, right. okay, do on. you agree that I have to say there is no God but Allah and Muhammad is his messenger to be a Muslim? No, you don't have to. If you say it, there's no problem, but you don't have to. Okay. Of so guys, you know, you I want you guys to clip this section. Clip this section because I want to now upload it to my channel. Abbas admits we are all Muslims because we can all say there is no God but Allah because we're using Allah as a name for the God of the Bible. But we all condemn Muhammad as an antichrist, son of the devil. But we say there is no God but Allah. So guys, we're all Muslims. We don't need to believe in Muhammad. Him. All we say is there is no God but Allah. Thank you, Abbas, for helping me destroy your religion. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Sam, trust now, go me, this is the first time I said that. I said that in speaker's corner many times. Even to my Muslim brothers, I told them. And I showed them that hadith. 
So I can That's add why they should be rejected. Nothing like wrong with that. But you can still be a Muslim by saying la ilaha illallah. Okay, guys, you admit understand. you guys are Muslims. Guys, we're true Muslims. We submit to the true God, Allah, revealed in Jesus, and we follow his commandments. And Muhammad is... Yeah. All, Muslims, guys. All right, 318. Sam. Sam. Sam, can you just say la ilaha illallah? <laughs> Uh, La ilaha illallah, Al Masihu ibn Allah, Al Masihu ibn Allah, Shafi Allah, Habib Allah, Kalimat Allah, Ruchin min Allah, Al Masihu huwa Allah, Al Masihu Akbar. So I just said the shada. Now, three. Uh, where you learn that from? Where you learn that from? Abbas, listen quick. Okay, Abbas, listen. So you're doing all of this, all of this, you're embarrassing yourself in front of people. Of course, you're he being is. throwing Islam and the Quran under the bus yep. because you don't want to that the Quran associate partners with Allah, which is Muhammad. They associate Muhammad as a partner with Allah, and you have yeah. to. Muhammad is a messenger. Okay, Quran Shemel. nine twenty nine. Fight those who believe not in Allah and in a messenger. No, it means the message is to be after. Now, Christian Malik, Brother. don't want to change the topic because Allah bears totally witness. Misunderstand. You let you this guy misunderstand me. I am not saying you call you have Ashadun Muhammad Rasulullah is something wrong. Oh, I say with, with pride. Ashadun Allah, 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 Ashadun Muhammad Rasulullah. Why say with pride? Can we go to 318 about that? Because that's where, because that very Shahada is saying he is the slave of Allah. Ashadun Allah, 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 Ashadun Muhammad Rasulullah. Abdullah Rasulullah. He is the slave and messenger of Allah. Dog so, named Abbas. Don't use me to escape. Abbas, Abbas, don't use me to escape. Listen to yeah. Brother Sam. Don't no, but Christian Malik, you're giving an excuse to run. So let him not run because here's a verse. Here Allah bears witness. Okay, Abbas. Allah bears witness. There is no God but he and the angels and men possessed of knowledge. I can't see the full verse because Avery is in La La Land. It's God. It's God. Do you want to? Mm -hmm. so, so we can see. Yeah. Okay. Is, that, is that good? Arabic actually says, God bears witness. There is no God but he and the angels and men possessed of knowledge. It literally says, Allah bears witness, there is no God but he and the angels and men possess the knowledge. So your Arabic is a nightmare because Allah just said he and the angels and men possess the knowledge. They are the one ilah. Again, that's what I'm saying. This is the, this is the language of the Thank Quran. Yes. But, but you need to understand oh, the, wow. whole, the whole context of the Quran. Yeah, the Arabic literally says that. The whole yeah. context of the Quran. Wow. So according to this, are you saying that the angels are God? Wow. No, Allah said it, not me. Allah said it, not me. No, no, you need, that's what I'm saying. You need to understand the whole message of the Quran is saying. Yeah, exactly. then, According look, to you, Ibn yeah. Taymiyyah, many scholars Ibn and Ibn Taymiyyah including, they say Ibn the Ibn best Ibn commentary of the Quran is Quran itself. The sure. best commentary of the Quran is Quran itself. So you need to understand the whole uh, context of the things intertextually. Yeah. You, you saw that area that here it's Allah bears witness. There is no God but he and the angels men possess of knowledge. That's literally the Arabic. Yes, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. That's so insane. this is you see why they keep doing the tap dance because the Quran is a joke, the Arabic is a joke, the Arabic creates contradictions and idolatry. So they have to explain it. Well, see, no, you, you got to take it holistically. So if we go to 931, Allah and the Messiah are the one Lord. No, no, you got to take it holistically. So when we go to 380, 318, Allah, angels, and men possess of knowledge, they're the one God. No, no, you got to take so when I take it holistically, I end up with polytheism because there's so many gods and goddesses. So if I take it holistically, we end up with paganism. So if I take it in no, isolation, we end up with paganism. No, we don't. So the Quran is a joke. So really quick, yeah, Sorry, Abbas, I'm going to let you go in just a second. I just got to give a shout out to uh, Jolly John, who just, 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 gave a just, just, just very generous seconds. gift. Hold on, hold on, man. I got to read the, the super chats, man. You know, priorities. Sorry, sorry. It's all right. It's all right. So Jolly John, uh, he uh, <laughs> put the comment in and said, why didn't Allah's First command to read, not work. Um, so that's uh, that's that's funny. But thank you so much for the gift, Jolly John. Um, but you guys go ahead, continue with your uh, yeah, conversation. By the way, before he says something, mm -hmm. if you want, Scarface just buried Allah again. He goes, the the idolatry is God requiring human sacrifice for sin. But I guess the joke doesn't understand that according to his God Allah, Sahih Muslim, he's going to torture, sacrifice Jews and Christians for the sins of these. Muhammad and stone liquor. So Scarface, I'd love for you to come on so I can use the hadith to destroy your fake God. <clears throat> Abbas, how are you going to explain okay. this again? Now, we go holistically again? Holistically? Once, once again. Yeah, yeah. Okay. When I say 
your Bible says, Jesus say, when I give testimony, my testimony is not true. When I give witness to myself, my testimony is not true. So we take that word and Jesus basically lie every everything he says because he gives a lot of testimony. So whatever he says, he says, don't trust me. Let's say no, that's, that's not that's what he's saying. saying. He misquoted him. Don't trust me. You misquoted him from the same chapter, buddy. You just quoted it out of context. See, unlike you, I quote your ah, Quran. Ah, so there you go, context here, my brother. Listen, We're talking about unlike here, you, listen. unlike you, <laughs> I quote your Quran in context. You took one verse out of the same context and butchered it. That's not what I did. So don't compare what you're doing to what I'm doing, because I know what you're doing. Your John 5, open up John 5, 31 to 37. Let's see what Jesus actually said to see if there's any problems there. Oh, actually, you, know you, to, you, the Bible. you couldn't handle the Quran, so you run to the Bible. I'll run with you. John 5. Oh, because please. I was just showing you hypocrisy. You guys also believe in the context. You you also take this guy what John said. Okay. John said, let me, you Abbas, let me in what you. I didn't say. Okay, Abbas, let me correct you because I know it's hard for you to understand logic because you follow Islam. It's John 5, 31, 37. You're not quoting context. I am quoting context because you keep assuming that chapter 9 is consistent with other chapters when we're telling you, no, just because chapter 9 says this doesn't mean that chapter 3 is going to explain it because you're assuming that different chapters agree. What you did was you took a verse out of the context of the same chapter of the same book of the same author, not you took what John said and put it against Matthew. I'm giving you a surah. You keep assuming the other 100, and it depends if it's Uthman, 13 surahs, or if it's, Ibn, if it's Ubay bin Kab, 115 surahs, they're in agreement. We're saying no. Different surahs will have different theologies and contradictions. But what you did was, false analogy, you quoted one author from one book <laughs> and misquoted him. So let's read the context. John 5, 31 and 37. All right. So we have here, if I alone bear witness about myself, my testimony is not true. There is another who bears witness about me, and I know that the testimony that he bears about me is true. You sent to John, and he has borne witness to the truth. Not that the testimony that I receive is from man, but I say these things so that you may be saved. He was a burning and shining lamp, and you were willing to rejoice for a while in his light. But the testimony that I have is greater than that of John. For the works that the Father has, has given me to accomplish, the very works that I am doing, bear witness about me that the Father has sent me. And the Father who sent me has himself borne witness about me. His voice you have heard you have never heard his form you have never seen now do you understand what the context is here what he means 531 what 531 yeah, what does that mean did you stop at 31 or you read the rest of us what does he mean Kyle? let's see if no, you no, figure no, it out no no i'm just no i'm just quoting 31 there's no context we're not reading any good context right now Ivory, did he understand reading. why it's a false analogy again or are we wasting our time of course not. Of course not. okay and so, this strong this translation okay. is a false translation. So what do you also want to come alone. this guy? He You're just giving me a platform to say nothing. Do you have any no. other customers? Because this guy's a waste. Well, Scarface is up here, actually. Oh, All right. Come on. No, hey, no, Scarface. No, no. Well, let's have I'm some time with you. you. You said a lot of lies. I have to refuse. Yeah, boss, hey, you have a good time at Speaker's Corner with Christian Malik. Thank you, sir. No, no. No, you have to give me 30 seconds to refuse him. What he says. It's only fair. Go ahead. No, hold on. 30 seconds. Go ahead, boss. Yeah, okay. So 30 seconds, I'm, I'm saying when, when we read in chapter 9, verse 31, we must understand Quran came in 23 years. So what no, chapter 2 was... No. One second, I, I'll go my 30 seconds. Yeah, because you're lying down. again. Show me where the Quran says no, it came no, in 23 you years. You lie all the time when I let you speak. Show where have the Quran says like it Muslim. came in 23 years. I have a courage like Muslims have. Just Where down. does the I, Quran I say it came in 23 years? Every. Yeah. I got 30 seconds. Of yeah. Let, let's let him finish and okay, then, and then finish, it's repeat. And I'll yeah. demolish his argument. Go ahead. Right. Okay, okay. So, the, when the chapter 9 was 31, chapter 9, we know he comes in the last years of moments or something, his life, and end of his life. So, chapter 2 came well before that. Chapter 2 was 285, already told us how Allah says in the Quran how the linguistic works. No believers has revelation, it doesn't come from the believers, it comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But the, the, the Allah speak 
the way he put his words muslims do understand that so when 931 came they understood exactly what allah means and they knew that jesus already said in the quran i am a messenger i worship allah all that context you need to understand if you ignore that then you'll be ignorant and then you believe as you guys are believing okay. that's my point thank you boss okay now can i put holes thank in it you can absolutely put holes in it number one, where does the quran say it was revealed in 23 years number two, where does the quran say that chapter 9 is one of the last surahs and chapter 2 became before number 9 number three, how does he know how many chapters make up the quran and how does he know that these chapters came from the source, source same source if we just use the Quran, you see, begging the question. That's why I said, guys, a waste of time. And then, all so, I can answer all the questions. Questions. right? You can answer three seconds. Let me make my point. In chapter two, verse twenty-five, he again shows that he's a better communicator than his God. And guys, Muslims, if I were you, I would tell this guy never represent Islam, because he's admitting that if you read chapter two, verse twenty-five, it does say revelation comes from the Lord and believers, but we know it doesn't mean that. So, in other words. Allah meant to say one thing, but he came out saying something else. And he needs the ummah to help him out and explain his words, even though Allah is supposed to be the perfect communicator. Thank you for bearing Allah in the Quran. And you still defend Islam? I'm thinking you're on the Christian payroll helping Christians destroy Islam. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, let's, let's, let's go ahead and give Abbas the last word here and yeah, so we ahead. can that's move to Scarface. So, ahead, well, I'm not on the Quran only. If you think I'm Quran only, that question is uh, to Quran only. Proof from the Quran. I also believe in the Sunnah and mut Sunnah Mutwatra. Mutwatir hadith. So whichever comes, the, everybody knows that the, the Sunnah Mutwatra, the Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi 23 years he preached in, in Islam, uh, 13 years in Mecca, 10 years in Medina, and the last verses came before, two, three months before he died. So we, we, we can calculate 23 years of his life, the Quran came. And Surah Toba, chapter 9 came in the end. Why? Because we know they took Fatah Mecca, and they were, the, the, the Mushriks were banned from the Mecca, and that happened in the last years of his life. So there are many sources we have in the Quran and Sunnah. I can answer all these questions. But you trying to put me just Quran only. I'm not Quran only. All these answers are there in Sunnah. Mm. Well, we can go on for, for hours to answer these questions, but they're, they're all right, also so there. I forgot, the, guy I forgot the rest, whatever you said. Yeah. Yeah, so, 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 so really quick, I, I just want to thank thank you, uh, Abbas, for participating in the conversation like in and for as long as you did too, going back and forth with Sam, that was uh was really good. So, you, um, so yeah, that that was really it was really pleasing for us. It's that's the information that was being exchanged. I love the attitudes. I know it got a little, uh, but you know, it was it was cool. We all speaking for the truth of the day. May God guard us all. Thank you. That's right. About, you. About, about, you. About, about, oh, oh, that? oh, that's Christian. <laughs> Christian Malik, your mic. Your mic is terrible right now, but Abbas, you're you're all you're you're welcome to stay. You don't have to go anywhere, but uh, if you do, you can you know go or whatever. But you're always welcome uh, to come back again. You, your decorum is excellent. Definitely. So thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, mm -hmm. All right. So Scarface had a point that he was making against Sam Shimon. So uh, Scarface, you're here. Go ahead and absolutely destroy this hater. Go ahead. All right. Uh, can you just repeat what you said earlier? Which part? Because there were five thousand points you were commenting. No, you said. I said. Uh, I, said yeah. I said something about uh, how. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, that part. Yeah. Now, Scarface, uh, please don't tap dance like Abbas, our friend. Are you okay. a Quran only Muslim? No. Okay, so you believe in the Sunnah, right? Yes. So, what do you say in Sahih Muslim, six 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 five, six 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 eight? We'll bring it up. Your God will sacrifice Jews and Christians as a ransom for your sins and throw them in hell in your place. Uh, I'm going to need to see the Hadith first because I'm yeah, not aware of this. You can, I agree. Okay. You sound like a young man and respectful because you're attacking in the comment section. So let's see. So according to your criterion, that means you just said that your God can't be God. So if you're going to open it up, Avery, you have the Hadith? Yeah. All right. He's going to show it to you. Sahih Muslims, you can't tell me these are Da'if Jiddan. Da'if, brother. I forgot the number. 2266. Two, two, six, six. Mm. Well, in, in the standard numbering, it's 6665. Let me get it for right. you. Yeah, if right. you can just, if you want me to get it for you, sorry. I have an article on this, but it's, you know how you are, man. I got, I, I got, I got it in my own. Hold on, I'll get, I'll get you the article with links to it. Hold on. Here's okay. the article I wrote on this. This is a Thor article because I quote more than just Sahih Muslim. Uh, so here, I, I, wanna, I don't want to see your article. I want to see the actual from the book. Perfect. See, now you're being rude. Be patient. I don't want to have to school you. 
The article links to the hadith on sunnah.com. See what happens okay, when cool. you have to Calm down. You'll defend Allah in a minute. So if you can open up the article for him, and then the hadith you click will take you to sunnah.com. Cool. You're not going to be able to avoid it because it's there. You're going to see it. So just be patient, friend. It's God. I gotta finish it. Something. Yeah, I yes, you should. I should take. It. I should. It's just. It's God logic. It's God oh, logic. Oh yeah, gee, you have to praise yourself in front of men. Huh? <laughs> it's the ministry. Uh, I'll, I'll give you props because I've never heard this argument before. So well, I'm because interested. you haven't listened to enough of our sessions. Keep sticking around. You're going to learn a lot about Islam that they don't tell you in the mosque. All right, now if you scroll down to Muslim, that's the article, guys. Guys, take these articles. You're going to scroll down. I link to Muslim. So if you scroll down. Okay, ho, you're going too fast, bro. All right, now go down a little more. Go down a little more. Right there, chapter 8, the throwing of non-believers in hellfire. The link is right there. So click on the link so you can see it. Right there. There it is. Search truth. This is a Muslim website. And enlarge it for him so he can read it. So he can read it. He sees the screen. All right. So we have Sahih Muslim 6665. Do you want to read all that? Scarface. Scarface, you want to read it for us? Uh, I'm fine. You can read it. Okay, go ahead. Read it for him. Abu Musa reported that Allah's messenger, may peace be upon him, said, when it will be the day of resurrection, Allah would deliver to every Muslim, a Jew or a Christian, and say, that is your rescue from hellfire. Now read 6666. There's Thanks. several of them. Read 6666. Actually, mm -hmm. somebody, uh, can somebody take over just for a second? I got to step oh. out. All right, let me read it. Okay, he's got it on the screen. So you see, we're not lying. Searchtruth.com. It's also on sunnah.com. So let me read it for you. This is now 6666. Interesting number. 6666. Number of Antichrist. But anyway, let me read that for you now. All right, here you go. Abu Burda reported on the authority of his father that Allah's apostle said, no Muslim would die, but Allah would admit in his stead a Jew or Christian in hellfire. Umar bin Abdul Aziz took an oath by one besides whom there is no God but he, thrice that his father had narrated that to him from Allah's messenger. Sai Muslim, book 37 is right there on the screen, 6666. Now, 6668, 6668. Same Sai Muslim is right there on the screen, so you don't say we're lying. Abu Burda reported Allah's messenger saying, there would come people amongst the Muslims on the day of resurrection with as heavy sins as a mountain, and Allah would forgive them, and He would put and He would place in their stead the Jews and the Christians. As far as I think, Abu Rawb said, I do not know as to who is in doubt, but Abu Burda said, I narrated it to Umar bin Abdul Aziz, whereupon he said, Was it your father who narrated it to you from Allah's apostle? I said, Yes. Now I can give you more, but these are the ones you see on the screen. And the chapter is chapter eight throwing of non believers in hell fire. For believers as divine grace and mercy. So, are you okay with your God Allah throwing Jews and Christians in hell and in the place of Muslims for forgiveness of their sins? Are you there? I can't hear you. Can you guys hear me, by the way? Anybody hear me? I can hear you. Yeah. Can so, what you. happened? I went silent. He's probably getting he's probably getting wahi or something. Hello from Jabir. What happens with uh, Scarface? Can you answer now? Am I back? Yeah, you're back. Can you answer now? Okay, I'm sorry. Can you repeat? Just the last part. Can you read the hadith in front of you. It's, it yeah, says yeah, I heard it. yeah. Allah will throw Jews and Christians in your place as your substitute in hell to save you from your sins. Right. You okay with that? Uh. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Wait, wait, wait. But what didn't you just condemn us for saying that our God requires human sacrifice for forgiveness of sins, and you condemned us, but now you're okay with your God doing that, sacrificing humans for your sins? Yeah, but there's a difference. What's the difference? Because for Christians, you believe in the doctrine of original sin, which basically yeah, means... Well, by the way, your prophet believed that. He believed in original sin. No, he didn't. You want me to prove it again? I mean, you can try, but... Oh, you want me to bet? I'm going to show you that Muhammad said, Adam sinned, threw you out of paradise, and made you miserable? 
don't challenge me and have an attitude. Be humble and I'll be gracious to you. So you want me to prove it from your Quran and Hadith that you don't know what you're talking about again? I mean, no no one has ever said that we believe in original sin. Your your prophet did. No. I don't care what you think. I mean, you, you, you can try to prove that. But... Oh, well, let's try. All right. Well, I need Avery to bring up the article and then the Hadith, but Avery is busy. Okay, here you go. You sure? See, when you challenge me, it's going to be not too good for you. But it's okay. Hopefully, God will bring you out of Islam to the true Christ. But okay, let's see. You don't have to be so let arrogant. You, let me get you the Hadith, and I'm going to go into the Quran and ask you to then, uh, I want you to then <clears throat> break down the Arabic for me. But let me get you the Hadith, because you just challenged me again, right? Yeah, okay. sure. So here, here you go. Sahil Bukhari. Now, mm -hmm. somebody's got to open up for you, so I don't know who's going to open up, because Avery is in his world. I'm just a squirrel. Here it is. The link right here. I put in the private chat so you can open it up. All right. Okay, so private chat. So can you see the link in the private chat and open it up? Hey, Avery, we need you before the rapture, brother, because we don't have control of the screen. All right. You ready now? So I can read these and then I'll show it to you. This is Sal Bukhari, Sal Bukhari, volume six, book six, number 260. You ready? You ready for me to read it? Scarface, I'm talking to you. You ready for me to read it? I can't hear this kid. It's gone. Did you leave? You got your mic mute. Your mic muted. Am I the only one here? Everyone left? Or am I going to take over? You hit the link. It took you to somewhere else. So I think you get no, this. don't take What are you talking about, man? I just hit the link, man. It took me right there. The last link took me right there, man. 501 Hadith found the prophetic commentary in the Quran. Say Bukhari, what are you talking, man? Are you bearing false witness, man? Why like this? I think he left, though. What he left? Is he's right there? Is oh, did he leave? Oh, did he leave? Yeah, he left. Oh, that was quick. <laughs> All right, we're done, folks. He left. There, what's there to talk about? It's gone. It's gone. All right, so what are we going to do? We're going to sit here and look at each other and sing Humbaya. Humbaya, my Lord. Humbaya. Humbaya, my Lord. Humbaya. Here's the article, by the way. No wonder you wouldn't read. So here's the article where I quote these hadiths that Muhammad affirmed original sin. So I don't know what me and my friend here were going to do because it's only me and him. We got no customers, and Avery took off. So can you and I sing together? Humbaya, my Lord, humbaya. Humbaya, my Lord, humbaya. Nobody kicked him out. That's a lie, Jeff Stevens. Nobody here kicked him out. He can come back in. So humbaya, he can come back in. My Lord, humbaya. Is that all I'm going to do, sit here and sing? Ooh. Yeah, come on in, Scarface. I can't send you the link. Can someone send them a link? It's gone. It's gone. All right, let me see if I can get him the link. Why'd you leave, buddy? He should just, he, he should just be able to click on the link that he used to get in. I don't know what happened. Though. What happened, though? Can you tell me? Yeah, I, I think he's lying. He, he doesn't want to come back. He's looking All for right, well, I'm going to give him the link. Here, I got it. Here, let's see if he's lying. Here's the link, Scarface. I'll never turn you, Frank. Here's the link. That's the link sent to me. Now, let's see if he's going to come back on. No one threw him out. That's a lie. Avery, what happened, bro? Why are you I'm, the only, I'm the only one with authority to throw out. Nobody got thrown out. So what happened? See, I'm saying, bro. It's gone. It's Magic. Gone. Now, this is the article on Original Sin. He was challenging Original Sin, and I told him his prophet taught original sin and he said no he didn't i go you want to bet so there's the article avery if you want to open up for the benefit of others and we can show them the hadith because i linked to the hadith from the article so i just yeah. send them the link to StreamYard. so let them see all right it's gone it's gone yeah now the article's right there if you want to open it up and we'll wait for him to come back so someone says he barks he says coward sam 
Come on, Scarface, come in. Hey, L. Bark, if you want to attack me, I'm going to insult the, the dog that gave birth to you. So get out of here, buddy. Okay, yeah, original. Yeah. Are you here, Scarface? Okay, come to the forefront. I don't know. I don't see him. Is he here? He's he says, not, he's not. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Yeah. All right, now okay, scroll down. About that. Sorry. Yeah. Let's go to Bukhari first. If you scroll down, I'll tell you where to stop. And then you're going to click to take him to the site where Bukhari is so that, hey, we got some dude called L. Bark. He's barking. He's like a stalker. I'm being serious. He's like a stalker in your private chat. He stalks my channels under 50,000 nicks, claiming to be a Christian. So he's kind of sick. So scroll down if you can. Keep going. He's gone now. Okay, now if you can scroll down to Bukhari. So and then go to the site so he doesn't say, Oh, I don't trust you, you know, because you're tell a Christian. Me, you know? Tell me when right. to stop. All right, keep on. You, you get there. Because I'm quoting Kathir. We're going to come back to Bin Kathir, but I want him to read the hadith, Bukhari and Muslim. Slowly, yeah. slowly. Right there. That's the first one. Click on it. Okay. Click on that one. So you can take him there. This is Sahil Bukhari, buddy. Can you read it for us or you want us to read it for you? Uh I mean you can just read it, dude. Okay. Narrate Abu Huraira. Allah's apostle said, Adam and Moses met. And Moses said to Adam, <clears throat> you are the one who made it, made people miserable and turned them out of paradise. Now, I'm going to ask you a question about this, so pay attention. You, Adam, are the one who made people miserable and got us thrown out of paradise, turned them out of paradise. Adam said to him, you are the one whom Allah selected for his message and whom he selected for himself and upon whom he revealed the Torah. Moses said, yes. Adam said, "Do you find? did you find it written in my fate before my creation? Moses said yes. So Adam overcame Moses with this argument. So did you catch what it said? You, Adam, Moses yeah, says... I'm just trying to find the hadith in, uh, right there. in Arabic so I can read it. It's 260. Do you want me here? Let me, let me spoon feed you the links because I know you want to avoid it. Here it is. Here it goes. I can just, I can just click. Oh, no. Oh. Okay, give it to me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I touched the book. Bukhari 260. It's, it's not the same hadith. It's the same hadith. I just read it. It's in front of you. We're reading it. It's right there. Do you see it, uh, Avery? Is that Bukhari or is that Mumari? <laughs> it's Bukhari. Okay. Do you see it says 501 hadith found prophetic commentary in the Quran of Sahil Bukhari? So are you like kidding us? No, I'm just trying to find the hadith myself, man. Okay. Well, you want to find it, man? Go to sunnah.com. Let me make it easy for you because I know you're going to try to do your best to run. You ain't running, buddy. I'm not running, man. What are you okay, talking you're going to be running to Jesus in a minute. Hold on. Just hold on. Let me get you sunnah.com. Be patient, brother. Humanity, it's gone. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here, I'm gonna give him su uh, sunnah.com. Hold on, and we'll uh, let me just go yeah, there. I'm on sunnah.com. 260 is a completely different. Hadith. Oh, because if about. you don't understand, I'm gonna help you because falling Muhammad kind of hurts. This is a different versification because it's a different site. But now I'm gonna give it to you so you don't make excuses. All right, here it is. Sunnah.com, and it says Volume 5, Book 60, Hadith 260. All right, listen, you can't post links to me because I can't click the here link. Here it goes. Here it is. Open it up. Don't make excuses. If excuse. I click the link, it's going to kick me out. I'm I doing it. Know. It's going to be me. It's going to be me. I'm going to put it on the screen. Okay? Here it is. Because it's using a different versification, but you'll see that even in Sunnah.com, if you click and I send it in private, it's going to tell you that in the older version, what is it? Look at the bottom. Volume 6, Book 60, Hadith 260. Ah, but it's going with a new versification, 4736. Okay, so it's... Narrated Abu Huraira, Allah's messenger said, Adam and Moses met. And Moses said to Adam, you are the one who made people miserable and turned them out of paradise. Adam said to him, you are the one whom Allah selected for his message and whom he selected for himself and upon whom he revealed the Torah. Moses said, yes. Adam said, did you find that written in my fate before my creation? Moses said yes. So Adam overcame Moses with this argument. So pay attention. This is not just one hadith. I got about 10 of them. You, Adam, are the one who made people miserable and turned them out of paradise. Because okay, you got is... thrown out of paradise and were miserable. Now let me okay. get you some more. Please. You ready for some more? All right. All right. Here. Let me go to another one. Hold on. Let me get it for you from sunnah.com. This one here. I got a lot. Muslim, Bukhari, and you got that demon again under another nick trolling in your account. Vanish. That's the same guy. The same demonic troll who comes under 50,000 names. He's sick. I'm telling you, he's a stalker. He's, I think he was, something happened to him, one of his relatives. Anyway, there it is. If you want to open it up, I just sent it to you in private. Right. Listen, I told you I'm not, I don't click links. I'm not clicking links. Not you, dude. It's not all about no, you. Sorry. I know you think you're sorry, important. But, uh, 
Scarface, Listen, okay, Tony? About the Hadith you just quoted, okay? Okay, so, okay, so now, did Adam make you miserable and throw you out of paradise? Listen, this is this is Moses. Uh, so the, the context of the Hadith are, is Adam and Moses are arguing, Yeah. okay? So this is Moses' interpretation. doesn't mean that it's the no, truth. No, it isn't. You're lying. That's not what it said. You're lying. What's, what's it saying? What it's saying that Adam said, why are you blaming me? For what Allah decreed for me. Allah predestined that this would happen. So why are you blaming me for it? Right. So either you're not reading it or you I, are, but you read it. Okay, so do you agree? Because I'm going to give you a uh, Quran now. Confirm original game, we're going to go to chapter 3, about? 36. Answer my question. Do you agree with the statement that Adam made you miserable and got you out of paradise? Here it is. Another one. No, I the don't agree with that. Moses argued with Adam and said to him, you are the one who got the people out of paradise by your sin and thus made them miserable. So don't play games. Deal with that. Deal yeah, with it. I don't, I don't agree with that. So you don't agree with Bukhari? Listen, he doesn't agree with Muhammad. This that isn't is Muhammad right. speaking. What are you talking about? This isn't what? Muhammad speaking. The prophet said. Yes, the prophet. the prophet said. Moses said. Yeah, so yeah, this, where did, hold on, let me play this game. Show me where your prophet said, Adam said, wrong, I didn't do that. Show me where Adam said, wrong, I didn't do that. Show that to me. Okay, so you're saying okay. because he didn't say wrong, I didn't do that. That means what? No, he what said, said, I did do it because your fake God determined it for him. But now I'm going to make it harder for you. Because now I'm going to give you your prophet saying, because of Eve, women betray their husband. And it's your prophet saying that. So you want to play games? We're going to play your games. Here, let me get it for that. Now you can't play that game. No, you're no, putting no, your no. own interpretation on the on the. Okay, here. Well, you're going to interpret it for me here. Here you go. You're putting like a completely different here you interpretation go. on the Hadith. Okay, spin it for me, Sam. Here you go. Open this. Now let's see if he's going to say that's not Muhammad. Now your prophet said Eve is the cause that women cheat on their on their husbands. Right? Like Walter the hooker. So go ahead. If you can open it up. Now it's your prophet. Now let's see what you're going to say. See what Walter's right, saying? He's saying his okay, is find, me, find me one scholar in Islamic history. Yeah, I will. I'll give you who, Ibn Kathir. Who, who, Don't make that mistake. I'm going to quote Ibn Kathir. He's going to embarrass you. You sure you want to go there? I got many scholars in my who paper. Said, who said Muslims agree with original sin like the Christians? No, I don't need to show you no, they agree. Yeah, say you that. have to. Adam, cast you out, and because of him, you're miserable. Stop the tat tense, sucker. Now read this. Narrated Abu Huraira. The prophet said, we're not for Bani Israel. Meat would not decay, and were it not for Eve, no woman would ever betray her husband. Now, tell everyone, I disagree with Muhammad. I don't believe Eve is the reason why women betray their husband. Say your prophet doesn't know what he's talking about. We'd agree with you. Say it. Say it. I can say, say my prophet is <clears throat> clueless because he's wrong that because of Eve's betrayal, women betray their husbands. He doesn't know what he's talking about. And I want you to say to everyone, and my prophet is even more stupid for saying, because of the children of Israel, our meat decay. So because of the Jewish sin, now our meat decay. So we now have to add preservatives and kill our bodies. Say it. Agree with us. Your prophet doesn't know what he's talking about. Say it. Listen, whatever, you're not, not going to get me to say something that's not true. Okay, so. Oh, so it is true. So don't, don't, wait, try wait, to do don't, don't try to manipulate me. Okay? okay, then say, I agree with my prophet. Because of those Jews, our meat spoils. And because of Eve, women like my mother cheat on their husbands. We will Agree with him. Say it. I agree. Say it. Don't be ashamed of your prophet. Listen, even you're not going to manipulate me, dude. Right? Not I'm not. A, we're reading your hadith. Do you believe it? Yes or no? Do I'm you believe not, it? Yes or no? I believe the hadith, yes. Okay, so then you just agree. Because of someone else's sin, we suffer. Thank you. Thank you for admitting, and thank God you came here brave enough to come here, that yes, I agree with my prophet, because of someone else's sins, we all suffer. Because of Eve, women who betray their husbands, and because of the Jews, our meat decay. So that means meat spoils. So now we have to spend more in the grocery store for food than we would if the Jews didn't betray Allah. Man, you Jews. <laughs> Right. Anyway, you got this guy who's uh, putting his name. He's saying, "My mother is a whore." Meaning, his mother is coming into private chat. Yeah, it's the same dude that keeps. He yeah, keeps. Yes, I, no, he's sick. He can, he's boxed me. 
yeah. under 10 million accounts. He claims to be a Christian, but we expose him because he's a wicked vile. I think he's a stalker and he's been violated. So now he wants to just stalk people. But anyway, we're embarrassing him. Now, is the guy, the kid still here? I can't yeah. see because you're yeah. putting these dudes up. I can't see if he's here. Yeah, I just want to like everybody saying that he's done and finished. Yeah, no, but where is the kid? I want to see where the kid is. He's right here. Okay, so can I give you more hadith for you to, to be too embarrassed to comment on? You want scholars, right? You're going to show me a scholar that, that said that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Ibn Kithir, my pleasure. Your wish is my command. Okay. I'm going to get you Ibn Kithir. All right, all right, man. You ready? Let me get it for you, Ibn Kathir. It's gone. But then if I give you Ibn Kathir, you're not going to have the hard copy. And then you're going to say, oh, well, I, I can't trust you. You're quoting him because so let me get you someone else. All right, let's go with uh, Abdullah Yusuf Ali. Is that good enough for you, Abdullah Yusuf Ali? Because if I give you what I quote, there's all oh, well, I don't have it. You're going to use the cop out response. So if I get you Yusuf Ali online, you're going to read it or we'll read it for you. You'll be okay with that? Uh, you can just show me the Arabic. You can read Yusuf Ali in Arabic, even though he wrote in English. No, you can show me the Arabic. What Arabic? Yusuf Ali is not writing in Arabic. You show me that you're, you're going to show me translation. You're going to show me the Arabic. Okay, so I'm going to have you read chapter two, verse thirty-six, thirty-eight in Arabic, and then parse it for me. Open up the Quran, two thirty-six, thirty-eight. So you can read Arabic, right? Yeah. Okay, read it for me slowly, because I'm going to ask you to emphasize certain words and tell me. If they are dual or plural, and explain what the plural implies. I'm glad you read Arabic. Now you're going to make my case for me. 236, Robert. chapter 2, verse 36 to 8. Have the English and the Arabic for the benefit of others. That's good. I'm glad, man, because now you're going to prove to me that the Arabic is plural, meaning three or more. It means a crowd, not dual, two. All right, so it says. No, but he's got the Arabic. He needs the Arabic. Do you have the Arabic? I mean, we can do this. Yeah, let him read. Well, no, he's need the Arabic. And you don't have a browser where the Arabic is. So. Avery, do I have to spoon feed you, sir, and get you everything? Hold on. That's, that is correct. Man, I suck. What is this, man? Yeah. You're making the money. You're taking off. And here I am, panhandling. It's gone. <laughs> well, let me get it for you. Hold on. I'm Corpus Christ. I think we could do it like Quran.com. Uh, do you have it then? Open because he needs. A, he wants the Arabic. He doesn't want the translation. So if you can bring it, then go ahead. Yeah, let's see if we can get this going here. Hey, this is another good resource because it has Arabic and multiple translations. So let me get it here. This one here is phenomenal. Islam Awaken. It has dozens of translations in the Arabic. So just for your benefit, use this as well. Okay, thank you. I'm actually going to really, let's try this now. Yeah, if you actually open it up, you're going to see why it's phenomenal. Check that one out first. Yeah, the, let's one see. You, the one, the last one. You're going to see that when you open that one up, which is much better than one you have. Scroll down. <laughs> Scroll down. You're going to see. Right there, if you click, it will give you Arabic and over a dozen translations of the Quran. So any verse you quote is going to show it to you. So quote a verse, like 236. Any day now, man. Any day now. What? Any, any day now. Well, we don't want to humiliate you too quick. We're trying to make your humiliation oh. slow. You see that right there? Yeah. Okay, now, since you want any day, if you want the day of your doom, should go to the Arabic. Here it is. Read it for us. Can you zoom in? Yeah, go ahead. Any day. So Muhammad's destruction. Go ahead. Read it for us slowly. Listen, just tell me the verse number so I can. I can't. Two forty-six body to thirty-eight. So I have it on the screen, man. What's wrong with you, man, bro? Thirty-six. It's too small. Stop watching Scarface, because Tony Montana ain't gonna do you anything. I read it for you. You said two thirty-six. No, I said uh, 336. 236 to 38, man. Stop the delay any day okay, now. Okay, okay, man. Any day now. What's Ihbatu? Hold on. Ihbatu. Go what down. is that? Yeah, but is it dual or plural? It's plural. Now, let me ask you a question. The only ones there, Adam and Eve, there are two. Why is it plural? Plural means three or more. Two would be in the dual. But keep reading because I'm going to ask you specific questions. Keep going. Okay. Ba'adukum li ba'adin. Ba'adukum. Okay. Is that dual or plural? Plural. So it's saying. Are you trying to make like a grammatical error? Is that what you're trying to say? What? You're trying to say it's a grammatical error? No. 
I'm actually going to prove that this teaches original sin if you're patient. Okay. Calm down. Okay. So plural, is it plural means more than two, right? Right. And yet how many are being addressed? Who's being addressed and being sent down to the earth? Uh, Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve. Can do math because I'm not that good at math. One and one is what? Okay, for okay, okay, so one and one is wait, what? Wait, 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 listen, listen. The first, the first word for, is that lohuma? Is that dual or plural? Answer my question and don't change Can the you subject. Answer my question? No, because it's irrelevant to. Eh, but to, what does that mean? Let's try it again. You're wasting time, kid. Adam and Eve are two. Oh my God! You're not so answer my questions. You want me to answer all your questions, but you can't answer yes, one question. Yes, because I'm you're making my case. Question, yeah? Do you want to get out of here and stop wasting our time, or are you going to answer the okay, question? Okay. 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 So okay. if there are two, one plus one, why does it say get down all of you, which refers to a crowd, not to two? It could. You, you clearly don't do. Or, or do you know Arabic? Have you studied Arabic? Answer the question, buddy. No. Do you know Arabic? Answer the question. Stop the tap dance, buddy. I'm going to punish you. Can, can you refer to? Can you refer to? Two I don't know English. Go ahead. Does Ibn Kathir know Arabic? Does Yusuf Ali know Arabic? Stop the game. Answer the question, buddy. Say so, okay. Why is it referring to three or more a crowd when it's only two Adam and Eve? Okay, it could refer to two, but no, it doesn't because Ibn Kathir and Yusuf Ali say. That the reason why it's plural, it's because it's referring to them and their offspring that would descend from them. That's where I'm going to get you busted. And here's what Ibn Kathir says. You see, that's why you're you're trying to evade it. Oh, do you know okay. Arabic? Okay. So, do you agree the, that this is referring even, to the offspring? Even if offspring? we accept that premise, even if we accept that premise, it doesn't doesn't prove original sin. Yes, it does because it no, proves. It can I? Because can them I and their descendants why? are supposed to go. Why down? are you not in paradise? Why are you on earth in a state of misery and sinning and dying? No, no, why are you on, on earth experiencing misery, pain, and sinning and dying when Adam and Eve were the one who were paradise and they sin and they're on earth? Why? Because we're their descendants doesn't mean that we're. we're oh, you bear. See, you, you don't see how you're bearing yourself. Because of what they did, we suffer. Because now I'm not in paradise, so I'm not in paradise, but on earth. Doesn't and mean now that I'm accountable them, for what I they did. Pain and sin and die. It you doesn't know mean I'm buried. accountable for what they did. You know, you just buried yourself. You can't. Right? You, can't you can't equate those two things. Ah, uh, Ibn Kathir did open it up for him. Let me equate it for you. I just sent in private. If you want, or you want to go to my article. So, kid, you're too young for this. You want to leave maybe and come back later? Because you can't handle this and you're, you're just I'm speaking. I'm an adult. Here. Huh? I'm an adult. Well, you sound like a kid. I don't know. But maybe maybe it was better if you hid the fact that you're a kid. No, I, it's, I sent it to you in private, brother. But if you want it, it's God. It's God. I can't put that on the screen. All right, friend. I'll put it in the comments section. Hold on. Be patient. And you can go to my article and it's there, sir. Mm -hmm. I send it link, but if I do it right here. Here you go. Oh, but I can. I got to break it down. So you would have to then put it. Just open up the article, brother, before it's like two in the morning. My goodness, dude. I sent you the link. Avery, you know, you're dropping the ball here, brother. You know, I'm kind of getting Am I? Everybody, yeah, Everybody's yeah, enjoying it. The article is in the private chat. I sent you the link, Avery. Didn't you want Ibn Kathir's top steer in this? No, because the English translation I have is from a different publisher. What uh, Darul Salam does, they omit things they don't like from Ibn Kathir, sir. You didn't know that all these years that you've been doing ministry, sir? <laughs> I like I like how you're like using uh, ambiguous verses, and you just you just you just what, uh, you, oh, so, you, on, you, hot. you use yeah, ambiguous he verses, admit, and then you and then you ignore just like clear cut that verses. Quran is full of ambiguity. So when I go to the scholars to explain the ambiguity, who cares about the scholar? You know, you keep bearing your God, right? Can you do your God a favor and not defend him? Scroll down. Scroll down, friend. Listen, you, you're little petty so insults. Don't don't do anything. You sound like a kid. Your you call me Go a kid, somewhere. but you sound like a kid. All right, thank you. Well, this kid is poning you. If you're a man, what does it say that a grown a little kid is poning a grown man? Scroll down, brother, right there. Right there. Enlarge it. That's Ibn Kathir. Mm -hmm. Okay. Allah informs of his warning to Adam, his wife, and saying, their offspring, when he ordered them to descend from paradise, he says he will send messengers with scriptures, signs, and proofs. So how did Allah warn their offspring 
if their offspring were not in Adam and Eve being represented by Adam and Eve because they didn't exist in paradise. This year, come on, come on, don't delay. <laughs> How does Allah address Adam and Eve's offspring when they were not alive at that time unless because we are in the loins of Adam and Eve, their actions affect us and they represent us so we all got thrown down. Yeah, oh yeah, their actions affect us, but doesn't mean that we're. we're so now let me see if you actions. know what original sin is. Tell me what original sin is. Let's see how smart you are, because let's see, because you just proved the original sin. What is the original sin? Original sin is the idea that we bear the sin, not that we don't bear the. You're saying that we bear the consequences of their sin. I I, I don't disagree with that, but you're saying we bear their their sin that we're actually accountable for that, that we'll be punished for that. So wait, so you define? So you agree? I can be punished and suffer the consequences of someone else's sin, right? <laughs> yeah. So you just admit yeah, that, right? Yeah. yeah, you can. Okay. You know, you just buried your argument then. That means now Jesus can <clears throat> bear the punishment for my sins, not because he sinned, but because he chose to bear the consequences of my sin to set me free. What was your argument again? What? Hello? That's yeah, that's what I thought. So you want to move on, kid? Because... You're, you're, you're really not up for this. Read what Abdullah Yusuf Ali says. Next one, 236. It's right in beneath that. Go beneath. Note the transition. Remember he said, do I know Arabic? I guess Yusuf Ali doesn't know Arabic. Note the transition Arabic from the singular number in 233 to the dual in 235 and the plural here in 236. Plural means three or more. It means a crowd, which I have indicated in English by all you people. Evidently, Adam is the type of... Of all mankind. He represents all mankind. And the sexes go together in all spiritual matters. For, for Moreover, the expulsion applied to Adam, Eve, and Satan. And the Arabic plural is appropriate for any number greater than two. So does he know Arabic, by the way? <laughs> or he's making it up? So you need to learn a lot about your religion, my religion, before you come and think that you can attack it and you're acting tough in the comments section. So... Let's, again, recap what you admit. You have no problem with your God, Allah, torturing, brutalizing, tormenting Jews and Christians in hell as a ransom sacrifice for your sins. You okay with that? That's not what the Hadith said. Okay, let's reread it again. Let's see what the Hadith said. Let's open it up. See, this is what it is, the tap dance again. All right, let's, let's read it again. That's not, that's not what the Hadith said. You want to bet? You want me to give you the Hadith? <laughs> Here you go. Okay, hold on. Let's see if I didn't say that. See, when you become snarky and sarcastic, it's not going to bode well for you, buddy. Let me get it for you. All right. Hold on. Let me just get it right here. Let me get that article again. And hold on. But Hadith didn't say that, man. Okay. It didn't say that? All right. Let's see. Be humble before you get humbled, buddy. Now, can you open up the article, brother? Oh, 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 all these, all these verses, all, all this like thirty minutes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your, your thirty minute lecture. You still haven't proved the original sin. You that's, did that's, for that's me. Crazy, You're not hearing it. We got it recorded. So we're gonna take a clip of you admitting original sin because you just define original sin the way many Christians do that we suffer the consequence of Adam's and Adam and Eve's sin. And I want that's, everyone. That's, that's not what Christian. That's not. Flip what, it. That's you want to bet? Says. You want to bet? The Orthodox Church that's been there before the Calvinists. That's how they define original sin. You want to bet? <laughs> All right. Guys, clip it. Say, Mohammedan Scarface admits Muhammad taught original sin. Now, brother, if you can enlarge it, we're going to make you famous, buddy, at the expense of Allah and his messenger. Now, okay, if you can enlarge it, okay, what I want you to do for me, brother, if you go to chat, it's in the top. Now, scroll down. Scroll down. You're at the top. Scroll down a little bit. I'll tell you when to stop. Keep going. Okay, what's that subheading say? Hold on, wait, what does that subheading say? Read it for me, yeah. Ivory. Disbelievers are sent to hell as sacrifice to the Muslims. Now read for me what the hadith says itself. This is Dude, from Dado Show Salam. me the website. I don't want to see uh, This is Dado Salam. You can shut your mouth and read it. You don't like it, you can get out of here. Read it. Abu Musa narrated that the messenger of Allah said, when it is the day of resurrection, Allah will deliver every Muslim, a Jew or a Christian, and say that that is your sacrifice from hell fire. 
And where am I quoting from? The translation of the meanings of summarized Sahih Muslim Arabic and English. Yep. Compiled Sahih. by who? Keep going so you can see. Compiled by Al Hafiz Zakiuddin yeah. Abdul Azim Al Mundiri Darus Salam Publishers Distributors First Edition Volume Two Sixty Two Pages Ten Thirty Three Ten Thirty Four. If you're too cheap to buy the book, you know the zakat they give for jihadis and travelers ask them to give you some zakat and go buy the book you don't like it get lost because that's what it says and i quoted it and the online version actually says in chapter 8 throwing of non-believers in hellfire for believers as divine grace so it is grace of allah to torture me in hell for your sins for your wicked filthy sins yeah you think it's time for you to go and go study your religion come back what do you think young man i'm done with you man yep exactly <laughs> Just like allah with me Take care, brother. Bye bye. All right. All right. Avery, it's been like all oh, close to four hours. You want to wrap close it up, sir? Four hours. Yeah, we're done. We're done. That was a, a nice little cook fest, a, a large barbecue today, man. How did, how did it taste, man? The ribs and the, you know, the, 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 the steak. Not, <laughs> there, is, there is no wisdom or logic that goes above God's. When you rely on your own understanding, you end up like, these children here. Uh, yeah, this is good. Now, the reason why I hesitate to come because God has blessed you. You are gracious and patient. I've been doing it too long. I don't have patience. And that may reflect on. I want to reflect on you because you have a good reputation. May I never be a burden and cause people to disassociate with you. But I've, I've done it too long. I don't have patience anymore. But I'm you did. Yeah. Today, you was excellent, man. Believe you me, I was fighting. Because I, I bet. I know. <laughs> we know, Sam. <laughs> with the, with I the, can't with the handle it anymore, brother. You know, yeah. I, it's too much for me when the same script and they play mm -hmm. the same games. Dude, mm -hmm. I'm 50. Um, I'm not as old as Protestant believer, but I'm better looking than him. <laughs> but I don't have time for this. But God give you courage and Rob Sentinel and Christian Malik and Chris Claus, all of you. God bless you. Keep praying for me that I work, walk worthy of the Lord to be holy. Never shame Jesus. Truly love the Lord. And the health I need to serve him until he summons me. And I love you, brother. And I encourage you. So love it's you gone. Too, I got to go, though, because yeah. Christian Prince is live. I want him to hear him to barbecue people. It's gone. <laughs> God bless you, brother. God bless you, too, man. Thanks, Sam. I appreciate it.